So, uh, we're going to be doing a new single player Imperator game here. And uh, because I've literally, every single time I've done anything live, I've been doing uh, uh, like either the Hellenic or the Latin military traditions. So, I really wanted to do something else today. And uh, we've seen a lot of people uh, up in, you know, like Germany, Scandinavia, England doing uh, military traditions up there. So, I decided that I was going to do some like Arabian traditions. I thought that would be interesting. Uh, and I kind of wanted to stay away from North Africa because it's pretty dominated by the major powers in the in the region. We've got Carthage all over here. We've got Egypt all over here. Um, fucking Rome's up there. Phrygia's over here. I was like, okay, so that leaves me down here. And um, I ended up picking this little dude right here. What are we called? Um... Avalitia, uh, Avalitia. We're gonna go with that, Avalitia. Um, and part of part of the reason I picked Avalitia is because these are not colonizable provinces. These are uninhabitable deserts, with almost no supply limit in them. So marching armies south from the larger nations, Egypt and Kush and some of the others, is nearly impossible. Almost impossible, because they would just attrition down to nothing in the deserts. Oh, which I'm happy with. But, on the other side, we do have colonizable land. So that means if we want to, we can scrooch down to the Horn of Africa. Hang on. I have no idea what this island is called. But it is a, uh, it is a province you can colonize. And that actually kind of um, opens up bits of Arabia. And maybe we can move off uh, around, knock on the Seleucids back door, see how it goes. But anywho. Traditional Friday morning allergies. Uh, why don't we get started? And <laughs> if you guys have any questions about what's happening in the game uh, or anything like that, what, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, or where things are, feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. And please remember, this is still hot code. This is still pre-release. This is before anything has gone live. Okay. So what do we got here? Ooh, we do have three ideas, which is nice, and they're split. Um, some of the nations that I've played have been pretty heavily on the military, and I kind of like to play an economic game if possible. So let's see. What do we got to choose from? And it's 50 talking power to pick all these. So I'm going to rip through most of what I have just picking these guys. Let's see. Um, morale of armies, trireme cost. Let's go to the other ones first. Ooh. Ooh, I love that one. I absolutely love that one. Natural... Oh, man, they're all good. Uh, I'm gonna go with the build cost, though. Hmm. Just... I, I saw that. I thought that was a bug for a second. That I was like, wait. Maybe they actually used black as a color in the culture map mode? In the culture pie chart? But not anywhere else on the map? It's probably what it was. All right, let's see here. Uh, okay, this is a religious one. We got civilization level and civilization change. Let's see, loyalty in subject states. I don't have any of those. Or popularity gain. I'm going to go with civilization. What is my... I wonder what my civilization is like here. 25. It's pretty... Stin yeah, it's just 25. It's not bad. Are these, is everybody at like 25? No. It's actually pretty good for the region. These guys are 25, but up here, it's 15. Back here, it's 20. Okay. Oh, the, wow. Population's actually decreasing over here. All right, cool. Seen much information, so any, how do you give it on a summary of the game uh, is by comparison? Well, if the game is, is EU4 plus CK2, it's like, I would say this game is 60% EU4, 20% CK2, 20% Victoria 2. Um, so... The more of each of those games you've played, the more of a leg up you're going to have going into these. Um, so, like me personally, I've played a lot of EU4, a lot of CK2, and a little bit of Vicky2. So I've got a good handle on a lot of the mechanics that exist before the, beforehand. So what does Civ level give you? Hang on, I'll show you. Uh, let's see, which of these is my capital? This has got to be my capital. Yeah, right there. Civilization. So, civilization level. Population growth, supply limit, um... Barbarian growth, so the more civilized you are, the less barbarians there are going to be. Um, happiness, happiness uh, for citizens and freemen, no effect on slaves, but so tribesmen don't like happiness. So um, basically, if you have a high civilization level, you want to get rid of your tribesmen. 
If you have a low civ uh, civilization level, your citizens and freemen are going to be unhappy, but your tribesmen will be happy. Uh, and it ticks up to a, to like a um, to like a balance point until you get modifiers to let it go up. Now you can see all the modifiers right there. Does trade make sense? The trade does make uh, make sense. I wish you had a little bit more control over it, though. That's what I was hoping is that I was... Uh, and I mean, like I said, hot code, they could change things. Um, bug fixes, patches, all that stuff. And they are going to be coming out with a major patch in June. Um, but we got, we're going to have to do trade in a second anyway. So hang on. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just pick... We're just going to go with morale of armies because there's not really any great ones to choose until we tech up later. All right, so we got an unused trade route. So we have one trade route uh, possible for our capital province. Let's see. We have stone, camels, salt, two fish, and dates. Um, what I want to do is stack modifiers for population growth. So I'm going to see if I can trade for grain, which I cannot. I cannot trade for anything. There are no available trade routes. Really? N nobody within dipl within range of me has avail any available trade routes at all. Oh, I see how it is, game. I see. I see what they're what they're doing. Um, something else I want to want to focus on is um, growth in my capital. Province of Punt in Punt. I love that because you need uh, to colonize and oh, I could colonize it right now. No. Right. I I can. You know what? Oh, you know what I bet this is? You need to have 10 uh, adjacent pops. I wonder if it's counting all of the pops and the sea tiles uh, adjacent to it, too, because... From... Yeah, uh... Yes, it is. Wait, from Tangier. Where's that? Color me confused. I'm confusing myself. Too far from Egypt. No, not far enough. Yes, we have magma code. Lava code. Now, well, let's see. What is our... We are... Macrobian and Kemetic. That's good. What are our... What are we, we're a, oh, so, culturally, we're homogenous. Oh. Okay. What are my stats? Oh, zero military. That oh, this is not a very good leader. Not at all. That's that's a shameful display right there. Hang on, I want to check some stuff out. Yeah. So the majority of my population is the wrong religion. What happened to the Bosporans? Um, I recruited, uh, um, like fifty thousand, uh, like an ar army of like fifty thousand cavalry. Uh, and then spent most of the game um, wielding like the, wielding them like a cudgel on my neighbors and um, slave slave raiding. Um, I sent my my navies all over the Mediterranean. I stole. Uh, I ended up stealing several hundred pops worth of slaves. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. So uh, I think what the issue I have here is is that almost everybody's the wrong religion. Because I think we're supposed to be comedic. Hang on, let's see here. Uh, this is culture map, region, religion map mode. Yes, there's your, there's the problem. I'm split. Uh, my my country's kind of split right on the uh, the the thing there. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Hmm. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to convert people, but I'm not. I don't want to do that right now. I want to spend my religious power on an omen. We're gonna go blessing of Isis and get the population growth. And we have enough, we have enough for two inventions right now. I think. Let's see. What do we want? Our research points are really low, and our research efficiency is pretty low too. So we're gonna want to try to probably focus on that. Technology speed. Let's see what else we got? Omen power. That might be a good one to pick. Fabricating claim costs is always an easy uh, early pick. Taxes. Money might be a good one. I don't make a lot. Let's see here. I make almost all of it from tax. So if I'm going to pick something, we're going to want to increase tax income. 
There we go. Yeah, so uh, as, as much as we have enough adjacent uh, pops to this one to colonize, they're, 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 they're not the right culture and religion. Can you change religion? Um, I don't know. I think what you can do is try to get uh, so, like a character of a different religion in charge. Then I think you could go through and convert pops to that religion. I think. But, uh, oh god. Am I already taking attrition here? Unit weight is 4.5. Supply limit 15. Desert plus one. Ugh. Get them out of the desert. Stop taking attrition before we even start. Oh, but look at that. That's nice. We start with Gabble Warriors. See, extra versus archers, chariots, horse archers, and light infantry. Uh, let's see, less damage versus heavy cav, heavy infantry, and war elephants. All right. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. I don't think I have access to horses. We've got camels. Let's see, what's down the coastline here? Incense, fish, incense, salt, incense. Gemstones. Ooh! Elephants! I think, yeah, I think we're going that way. Does Kush get its own special trading good? Sergey, hemp is already a trade good in the game. Look. Hemp. Hemp. Here, let's see. There's not much hemp down here. Yeah, yeah. Hemp up in Europe. There we go. Oh, you know what I haven't checked out? How strong is this guy? Uh, no, not you personally. I want your country. Weaker than me. Okay. He's got 14 cities and 63 pops. I've got uh, 6 cities, but 77 pops. So I've got, um, I've got everybody kind of uh, uh, doodled in there better. Nice. So, I th yeah, what we're going to have to do is wait for some... Oh, you know what? Better idea. Better idea. So right now, the governor policy here... In Punt is set to, uh, oh, I need, uh, oh, I got enough. Good. I got enough. It's 50 talking power oratory. It is set to civilization effort. Um, tribes will, will convert tribes into freemen and slaves. I think what we need to do is convert people. I think that's what we need to focus on. Because there's so many pops in here that are the wrong religion. Not, not, there's just some, sla some Slavs, some slaves and some tribesmen of the wrong culture, so that's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to set this to cultural assimilation. No, religious conversion. That's it. And we're going to try, we're going to set this guy to just, just try to base convert everybody. That's what's going to uh, help our happiness and the colonization, <clears throat> colonization effort. Do you have your own special tech group or traditions? Uh, I'll show you. We ha we are on Levantine and Arabian traditions. Land unit attrition, which gives me land unit attrition minus 15%. Can unlock phalanx, military colonies. Uh, traditional focuses are for strong triremes, um, camelry, and light infantry. So uh, I, I kind of wish there was a map mode to show you where the military traditions were laid out in the world. Because uh, that, especially when you're when you're picking a nation, because like when I went to pick a nation this time, I was like, okay, I want to do something that's not Italian, not Latin, and not Hellenic. And then I was like, the only, and there's there's no way to really see that information on the the pick the, the 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 choosing country screen. Using slaves is the cheapest way to do it. Oh, you know what? That's a little sad. Okay, okay, slaves, you guys stay here. All of you guys, march that way until you see some strange people. They're your new masters. Be good. Because there are there are already people living here. So some when I go to colonize it, some slaves would march in there and just be like, "Hey guys, um, I answer to you now, and we're changing. <laughs> we're gonna change the color of the flag. Do you have a flag? I seriously, there's seriously no trade. Nobody's willing to trade with me." It might be because nobody likes me, or they don't have any excess... Like, this guy has excess trade. Goods. But he hates me. Oh. 
And I do not want to spend oratory power right now. So we're just going to have to go without a trade good. Is this a new one? Yes, this is brand new. Oh, you know what? You're right, Sparrow. I always forget about that. I always forget about that. Because it only it only tells you later on. It doesn't give you a little warning there. Okay, so yeah, there's the letter and the the leather and the wine now. If you if you're lacking it, it doesn't show you that that's the reason why you can't get it. I wish it did. Just a little little bloop of the tooltip there. I've forgotten about that literally every game that I've played so far. So we could get leather, which will give me uh, cohort recruit speed, or wine, which will give me freeman happiness. So we'll probably just go with that. Uh, there we are. Renovations. Let's see. In his civic capacity, his form is an opportunity has arisen. One of our most valued temples is in dire need of renovation. Enough investment. The building uh, could become a shining beacon. Let's see. My family gains prestige. Well, is that me? That's me. Prestige, king gains popularity, family gains prestige. Why does it say the same family gains prestige twice? Am I missing something? It's the same family, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I might uh, maybe maybe it's because um, both characters in question are of the same family, so it probably would have been the king gained some, and if this was a different family, that family would have gained some. What's my, my, been my favorite nation so far? I've really enjoyed playing Sparta. I've just just for role playing and lulls. Uh, we got a little cash in the bank, so why don't we go ahead? Oh, you know what we else we have access to? Uh, because I picked the military tradition that reduces build cost by 30%. I do have enough for a building. So I think what we'll probably do is build a granary first thing in our capital there. Uh, that is going to increase our slave happiness and pop growth. Oh, you know what else I want? Um, pop up on the screen when someone's been converted. Uh, similar to, not, not, not like a big pop-up in your face, because it happens so often, but in, like, Hearts of Iron, it, when you're, like, you're zoomed out, and when, like, a unit deploys, you just see a little yellow text, you know, Ooh, this unit's deployed right there, and it goes away. Or in this game, when a war ends, you just see peace. And, like, uh, oh, uh, you know what, when this, uh, granary completes, we'll be able to see it. Um, just a little text just on the screen for two seconds or something like that. Build a granary on a desert. No, it's perfect. It's perfectly uh, logic. That's where we need the grain. <laughs> That's where it needs to be. Also, it'll hopefully it'll help our uh, our capital city. You know. Oh, can we move our capital out of the desert to get uh, get off that malice? Let's see. What is our uh, what is our current growth? Okay, it's actually not as bad as I thought. It's not near as bad as I thought. I thought the growth was going to be like, like 10 times less than that, like 0.05 or something. Streaming later today as well. Uh, I'll be streaming for about four hours today. We just started. Yeah, there, like that little, that little text on the screen right there. Just, oof, and then it goes away. Oof. Say that now when you have, what do you have a massive empire? No, I want it more as a massive empire. Pop management as a massive empire is very problematic. <laughs> I would, right now, it's it's easy to do without that. As a large empire, I would want that even more than as a small empire. It's only a 15% chance for, because, no, yeah, it's fine. So, like, right now, um, it, it's, it varies based on the leader's skill. But it's only a chance to convert one pop per month. So it's not one, it's not like it's a chance to convert one pop per city. It's it's for the whole province. So you'd only no matter what for each province, you'd only see one pop up, for potentially one pop up per month per province. But still, at a fifteen percent chance, even if you had fifteen province provinces and you had them all set to that, that's still average to only one pop up per month. Like when you have when you have a large empire. 
Um, the UI is not very cohesive right now to pop management, and that's just something that, that hopefully will get changed in the UI in the future. So let's see, he's converted one pop total. We are now 16.88, uh, chromatic. Man, I gotta get rid of all those, uh, uh, Arabic religious people, I guess. Generally, what I like to do is keep about 200 religious power in the bank and then spend anything above that because 200 is what an omen costs. A uh, base what an omen costs. And I like to have an omen going at all times. Okay, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit because right now I'm kind of just waiting on this guy to convert. Like right now, there's no way to tell if he's actually converted something uh, b besides going over here and see if the number has changed. Let's see. So watch, wait for the month to tick by and see if anything happens. So, no. Like, that's the only way to tell right now. Or to see if this has changed. If you remember the percentage points. Oh, and I don't want to do it manually. I really don't want to do it manually. <laughs> hmm. Oh, and we need to get rid of the tribesmen, too. That's oratory power. Our gains are not very high. Is the thing. This leader is not great. 0564. It's not that great. Oh, and his popularity is not very popular either. Ugh. It's slowly ticking up. Eh, very, very slowly ticking up. Freeman output. Oh, let's see. Maximum number of friends. Charisma, diplomatic relations, uh, popularity, unrest. Well, generous is a nice one. That's good to have, at least. He looks angry, though, doesn't he? Like, he looks like he's scowling. Isn't it a waste of uh, religious power to use omens right now? Wouldn't it be more effective to use the, po uh, the uh, power to convert pops so later on the, the uh, omen will actually be worth it? No. Uh, incorrect. Um, the omens, the omen power isn't going to be, the, the omens power isn't going to be affected by the people's religion at all. It's a nation, it's a national modifier. It doesn't only affect the people of that religion. It's a, it affects your nation. Um, I generally keep omens going uh, at all time. It's based off religious unity. Its power is based off, is partially based off that. It's partially based off that, not completely. There's other modifiers as well. Um, and considering I can get these people converted for free, I'd rather have the um, the, om the omen on right now uh, uh, and have some modifier and just get my guy to convert those people for free than to spend the points converting them right now to get a slightly higher omen. Oh, you know what? I haven't checked. Let's test something out, guys. This is something I haven't, I haven't, I haven't checked out yet. Uh, does your omens? Oh, you know what? I don't even think we need to do it. I was gonna say, does this number um, change dynamically after the omen has been activated? And I'm, I was going to test it out. And I'm 90% sure it does. Because it was 0.06% national growth when we started. And um, we got one or two guys converted. And it went up to 0.07. Uh, so I was gonna, what I was going to do is go through and actually just spend some points to convert some people and see if that changed. But it did go up. So it is dynamic. There we are. Just started? Yeah, basically. Oh man, you know what's 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 kind of um, uh, awful though is I'm used to having super what, like when I was playing yesterday is the Bosper and Kingdom up. What? Hang on, hang on. Let's zoom out. As the Bosper and Kingdom up here, my omens were so freaking powerful, so powerful. And now I, I've got to get used to being back at the start of the game where I, where I did, don't have many modifiers on them. Oh look, there there's a modifier right there. Fabricate claim. I'm not fabricating any claims right now. We make no money from income, basically. I think we're, yeah, I think we're actually going to take that. Omen power. Let's see, is that going to be enough to tick it up at all? 
Yeah, it is. Nice. So it is dynamic. I actually thought it was static. I thought it would stay at the level that um, that it was when you started the uh, the blessing, but it does change dynamically as you go through. Cool. That is good information to know. We didn't even have to spend any points to test it out. The priest said that it can no longer tolerate uh, this dude's godless impiety. Wait. No, that's me. I'm godless and impious? Hmm. Without the support of the priesthood, the people will start to believe that Neferibre... Neferibre? Neferibre. Me. Does not have the support of the gods. Uh, let them complain. Lose legitimacy. Lose loyalty. Make a large donation to... Oh, yeah. Throw, throw money at them. Single player game? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're doing a single player game. We're going... Um, we're, we're, and we're kind of making sure that we do things uh, in, in a way where I can explain them. Figure out what's happening. No gods, no king, only Magnu. But I am the god king. We all know that. Magnu is the god king. I actually put these on so I can hear the music. There we are. All right, let's 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 check out this guy's progress. Have you converted anybody else? Wow, five. Nice. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, because um, all my entire population's just in one province. It's super easy to just go. Okay, everybody that needs to be converted is in that one prog province. Sweet. Which nation we're playing is Alavantia. Which I picked just because I thought they were in an interesting location and far enough away from Egypt to not be bugged by them. There we are. Is this particular playthrough a single player game? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I've got enough multiplayer stuff on this going right now. We need more citizens, too. Who? Who? Is that this guy? Oh, you jerk butt. Um, no, I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. There's only one way across, though. I need more money. Shoot. Shoot, shoot. How many how many cahoots do you have? And he's got a couple alliances. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of men. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was gonna spend money to build a fort, but that's not happening. Man, I got why is everybody such a military dunce in this country? Everybody here's such a freaking dunce. All right, so the money's going into recruit. <laughs> Prepare to defend yourself. Yeah, yeah, that started off real early, didn't it? Um. All right, so I don't. I have. What do I have here? Light infantry and camels. How much do camels cost? We need more of them. Does there? They're what I. Ha they're what I have that could actually do a decent job. I could recruit six cahoots of camels. Here, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of light infantry. We'll, we'll split it up a little bit. Where's light infantry on here? There it is. I've got three. Let's do another three. Broken arrow! Yeah, broken arrow is, is right. There's only one way across, though. And let's make sure the economy is on military maintenance in the middle there. <laughs> I really hope I don't die right away. Honestly, if I could prevent them from crossing, I'm fine because then I can just wait peace out after a while. Need more elephants. I gotta, I gotta go that way to get more elephants. That's where they are. Patronage of the arts. Uh, oh god, I don't have money for that right now. No, I don't care about my legitimacy right now. So I just need, to, I just need to stand here. Uh, let's see, supply away a tra 16, okay. Stand there with my troops. With my cahoots. And contest the crossing. Did anybody else join in on this? No, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Commerce income, tribesmen output. Okay, none of these I really need right now. I think I might just hold on to that. Oh, and there, there's, the, there's our trade route. Is there anybody else that wants to trade with me? Nope. 
Because that was where I was getting it from. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I was going to say that's going to hurt my income a lot. Would it be worse to take the, the land on the other side of the crossing? If I could successfully do it without getting my nation destroyed, yes. But considering... Uh, I don't know what his army comp looks like. And we, we now have equal number of Kahoot. Nope, he's gone up to 16,000. And he outnumbers me. Man, you're a jerk. No, I get it. I get it. You're an ass. Alright, let's merge these together. Let's see. Looks like the best tactic we have available to us is probably just skirmishing tactics. Light infantry is 50% more effective and the camels are 12% more effective. Um, and, you know, well, let's see. He's, he's probably just on generic shock. Or potentially bottleneck. I think we're just going to go with... Uh, here, why don't we go with envelopment tactics? Because that's going to make my camels more effective. Attack the nation to my south? There, there's no nation to my south. There's nothing south of me. I mean, if we're talking about this guy, um, I was just going to colonize my way over there because that's safer. Are we just are we just going to be attacking? In, in, do, do you want me to just attack into the desert? Impassable terrain? I, I see you. Oh, Carthage is already throwing its weight around. Oh, they're just going to cross. Really? He's got heavy calf. Mother bitcher. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, that's not good. Any of these gonna help me out right now? No. Dude! Nothing nothing is particularly useful against heavy cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Well, the one thing you don't want to fight the heavy cavalry is the light infantry. Uh, let's see. Should I move them? Maybe I should move the light infantry to the flanks? Cameron! The tactics, yeah. The I think I'm just going to leave it as now. is. I think I'm just going to leave it as is, and I'm going to go stick with envelopment tactics. And see how well this works. Oh no, my morale's a little has it hasn't gone up full yet. Oh no, he stopped. Haha! -ha! Yeah! Yeah! Puts off, you bitch! Yeah! Screw you! Oh, uh, I think I need a tax the you know what? Um is that gonna help me out very much? That's not gonna help me out very much. That's barely. Let's get point two. Wait, now, now he's got his whole diddly there. Yeah, yeah, trish it out. Wait, what? What is this? What? What the fuck is this? What is this? Why I am? Why am I at war with you? Did you declare? Did he declare? Did this get what? 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 It just pop. I just noticed it pop up down here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This guy called in some other sons of bitches. Wow. Okay, so no, he called in a ton of people after the war started. And then this, okay, so the ally he called in 
had a revolt, then that revolt declared a separate war on me? All right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. What? What is going on? Him, do, him pulling in a ton of other people is not good for me, too. Well, them keeping their army here means that they're going to attrition. Which is good for me. Game worth buying or should I wait for patches? I still enjoy it fine. It's just there is some stuff that needs some work. Come on, buddy. I got a cat. Whoop. Okay. Um, this is hot code still. There is going to be pre pre uh, patches before it actually goes live to the public. Uh, I mean, this is working out well for me. They 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 seem to be too scared to actually take the crossing. Oh, I don't know. All, now it looks like they're actually going for it. Let's see. For reasons known to only, he has begun voicing his opinion to support me. That's good, right? Sycophantic actions may be tiresome, but a voice. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Let's be friends. Oh. Is my little baby sick? My little baby's sick. Well, look, he looks like a dumb baby, so. Nope, they're just sitting there attritioning. Ah! Are their attrition losses listed? Oh, that's Pops killed. Alright, so no, there's, it doesn't look like they're listed on there. I'm winning, guys! I'm winning! <laughs> Hey, cat. Oh, you're such a handsome little man. Yes, you are. Mercs? I, I, yeah, the merc, mercs exist. There's some right here, but I don't need them. They're too, they're too scared to take the crossing penalty. And them stacking their army up on this province with nine uh, doodles. Uh, nine supply limit. Means that they're just eating attrition. And attrition in this is a beast. To get uh, uh get water and a stack, come back to war. They they all like okay, hang on. These guys all declared war on me. And but the oh, there's only one way across. There's only one way across, and I've contested it. And there's only nine supply limit here, so they're just sitting. They just have their whole army sitting there, eating eating attrition. That's fifteen thousand men. Uh, or 15 cohorts. Oh, are they all co are they coming now? Are they actually coming now? Wait, what are, they, what are they gonna get here? September 30th. Oh, wait. September 30th. Wow, that's a long crossing. It looks like they're actually coming this time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Put, get a fort on both sides of the crossing. That's a tall order. <laughs> That's a really tall order. Oh no! Okay, they're all fucking coming now. Oh no! Oh yeah. Oh shit. Now they're all coming. Alright, we're on envelopment tactics. Let's see. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's going to. I think we might need to change to skirmishing. I'm gonna change to skirmishing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna time for a new game. All right, so we're fighting the first thirteen thousand. Yeah, they're on sho they're on generic shock action. I'm I'm glad I changed off development. Plus extra damage versus development. Doom! Oh no! All right, when's the next? Oh god! It's like a month before the next uh, group gets in here, though. I think. They've got- they took a minus three. But they're still rolling better than me. I rolled two ones. There we go. They rolled a zero on a d6. Need an amazing, uh, gray sound effect. Ah, uh, there's the reinforcements. I'm shooting them! I'm shooting them the best I can! 
Yeah, okay, now now they're they're hitting me really well, okay, now they got a better general and I rolled a zero. Oh yay. Shameful display! A shameful display! Well, I think that that's that, that that's it for this run. Alright, let's retreat let let's retreat. Oh, nope, nope, they're just gonna stack wipe me. I'm trying to get to retreat to my capital. Leave me be! Oh, they're killing my pops too. White piece imminent! White piece imminent! <laughs> Sue for peace, what do they want? Everything they're holding right now. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Can we get back to the crossing? <laughs> Maybe they retreated back. Oh, 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 wait. Imminent battle. Undecided which will win against 2,000 men. Uh, really? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. A friend in need. Okay, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I need one more regiment. I need just one more regiment is what I need. Right now. So someone so I can sit here and 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 try to hold them back while somebody goes over and unseizes this down. What does extra damage versus shock? Uh, bottle deck does extra damage versus extra damage versus shock, but only two and a half percent. Skirmishing is the right way to go. Oh my god! How dumb is the AI that they didn't finish you? They might be involved in other shit right now. They might have other stuff going on, or they may have not wanted to take the attrition. Oh my dumb little kid! Oh, he's getting smarter. They're only sending... Oh, no, they're sending more. I was like, they're not sending enough to actually win this! I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Let's see. Oh, his ship has been wrecked. He beseeches us to uh, cover, help cover his losses. Well, you're already loyal enough. Oh! Oh! For 20 ducats, I get an extra trader out until the end of the game. I mean, it's going to hurt my economy, but... Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a sec. Um... Can I get... Will another stability point help me out right now? Not really. <laughs> I was like, I could, I could buy another stability point. No! Ah! Yes! The crossing's mine! Stay out of my land, you bitch! Get from the gods! Omen. Uh, um... Okay, we're going for discipline. Let's see, uh, tri military okay, that's not gonna, none of these are really gonna help me out too much right now. I think I should just save the points. Can ships block the crossing? Yes, but they have ships and I don't. You shall not pass! Are they actually going to, okay, whenever, whenever they're actually thinking about crossing, it freaks me out. Nope, they're still just taking attrition! They have attrition, they're, they're down, they had about 16,000 when they started this. Yep, 
Yeah, it's the it's the other guys coming in that kind of suck. Oh, but they just got light infantry and archers. I could wreck them. The war score, if, if once I siege all this stuff back too, I, the war score is going to flip. <laughs> Woo! How far is their band power drain? Not not that bad, but I mean, it's it's a bunch of different guys. Arabia Felix uh, Orientalis. That's a cool name. The uh, Arabia. The Felix is lucky. I think. So that that that's Arabia, the the lucky Oriental. Something like that. How do the tactics work? Each tactic has um, a bonus. Um, to the effectiveness of the troops you have in your army and each tactic it has um, uh, An effect on combat in that it's either more or less effective than other tactics So if someone is is if someone has phalanx and goes bottleneck it could be countered pretty good by envelopment by going around stuff like that Pla Grand plan to conquer Kush grand plan right now is to not die Okay, and apparently that other war's over. It just went away. <laughs> Alright, so you're not needed there anymore. I can't afford this for long. Alright, so what about this? When 725 days have passed with no contest over the war goal, there may be a white piece signed. Currently 850. So I gotta hold out for a little longer. Yes, stack more men there, you idiots! And I, I, I don't see any more heavy cav in there either. Oh no, no, there are, there are. Ah, ah, starve to death! Choke on your own hubris! <laughs> anyway. No, I don't want them to commit. I don't want them to commit. I want them to sit there and attrition out because the last time they committed, they won. Oh my God, we're gonna survive. We're gonna win. Well, we're gonna win. All right, super peace. Can I not white peace? I mean, this is white peace. Maybe I need to wait, like, what, what, wait, wait, wait for the month to tick. There we go. Desperate measures. Oh, stability hit. Oh, it just they don't they don't even get the option. Okay, there we go. There we are. Strike me down. I will return. More powerful than you could ever imagine. Alright, now uh economy, army maintenance down. I need a goddamn fort in this province. There are ideas to make your enemy attrition. Uh, yes, there are inventions for that. All right, you guys want to trade? Ooh, where can I get fish from? Where's this? I don't even know where this is. That's, oh yeah, I want the fish for the pop growth and the money. Is there another one I could do? Furs, I don't think that's gonna help me out much. Starting experience. You know what? It's worth it for the money. Oh, he's. It, wasn't I at war with you just now? Alright, I guess he got over it. Sure, whatever. I just need the cash. 
It gives me a little bit of commerce income. Uh, if you wait piece when you own the war goal. So the wait piece of this is more like a um, status quo in Stellaris. So anything that's that's occupied is transferred. But because nothing was occupied here, nothing changed. How does pop growth work? Um, it's basically a number of modifiers. And then uh, a, a, a the game will randomly pick one of the pops that, that's already in an area. And it'll get growth. So right now I've got a citizen growing in my city here. And you see every month 0.4% is gained. And it's currently at 37.71. Um, growth in my capital here is a little uh, truncated because it's a desert province. But every city has its own growth with its own modifiers. Um, and here we've got a freeman growing. Citizen. We've got a tribesman. You know what we should do though? We've got the oratory power. We should get rid of the tribesman. Here, let's uh, promote tribesmen. All right, so let's get rid of the tribesmen. Oh, there's a bunch in here. There's three here. There we go. Okay, no tribesmen now. No tribesmen means no unhappy tribesmen. Let's see. I need, I need to wait for people to convert. So how many people has this guy converted now? 12 pops have been converted. Sweet. What is the point of the war goal if you can annex land and wait 700 days for a white piece? Um, the, the point of a war goal is that you need to have a war goal to declare a war. Otherwise, it's a no CB war and you take um, uh, uh, minus two stability for a minus for a no CB war. No, I'm not going to be doing the spiff, spiffing bit thing to get the tech advantage by only having citizens. It's that's just it's just a meme -y thing. There's uh, there's not really a a, a a real reason to play the game like that, other than for for the lulls. And as you guys know me, I don't do I don't do meme gameplay. Oh, uh, someone's building a statue to me. Ooh, unrest down. Or unrest up. Well, I mean, I guess we'll go for it. Loses 10 popularity, but we get uh, a national statue. All right, we'll go for that. Ethiopia or Somalia? I have no idea what modern day country this would be right now. I mean, going... Okay, so going all citizens does have a, a, a marked disadvantage. Citizens produce, here, let's go to my capital here. Citizens produce research points almost exclusively and a, a little bit of a little bit of commerce income. But that means you are sacrificing all of the manpower that your country gets. You are sacrificing any of the base tax and the manpower from tribesmen and you're sacrificing all of the base tax from your slaves. So that means you're sacrificing almost your entire economy and your military to get tech. So if the second someone declares war on you, you're dead. And having a tech advantage in this isn't the same as is the same as having a tech advantage of EU4. It's not like it's a guarantee of victory. Ooh, someone wants uh fit. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm importing and exporting fish. There we are. So like you can you can go ten techs above somebody else, and here I'll show you. Every tech is this. Next level gives morale of armies. So you're getting point every time you tech up, you're getting that point one percent to the or that point one to the morale of your armies. That's what you're getting. That, that that's what every and it's just it keeps it's not like it changes every tech. That's what you get. Boom, 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 boom. So uh, going ahead on some on, on that will give you more morale than somebody else. But that's not really going to make you, like, l l like trounce them in the field. And, and uh, okay, and let, let me put it this way. Um, in the 12-hour stream I did yesterday, Prussian Prince was doing that, where he went all citizens... And he was only two techs ahead of me. 
where I didn't do that. Tech 10 versus Tech 1, for example. It's not that big a deal. It's really not that big a deal. I, f uh, I fought someone um, seven techs ahead of them, I thought, I think. And it barely made any difference. It barely made a difference. It's not it's not that big of a deal. Higher morale just really means you're going to stay on the field longer. They can still slaughter you. The inventions do matter, yes. The the inventions do matter, yes, but teching up doesn't get you inventions. It just cycles through the inventions available. And that's bottlenecked by civic power, not by tech. Uh, how did you do in the end yesterday? VOD stops at nine hours. Uh, it's nine hours. Really? Oh my god, I didn't know that. I went, I went slave raiding yesterday. Uh, I stole about 200 pops and slaves from Rome and Carthage and Sicily. So yeah, like the, the, the all citizen things, guys, it's a meme. It's not, it's, it's not like a, a, a way to really make a good country. It's for lulls. Oh, did my... Oh, I was about to say, did my general die? No, it's that 13th guy. You know what? Um, I'm just going to disband you. Send you home. What do we got here? Starting experience, five... Hey, Penelope! Who's a good dog? Who's a good girl? Who's a good dog? There's no... Co yeah, oh yeah, they need to fix the, the slave raiding mechanic. Oh, the, the old... Like... like what they can at least do is let the person who's being raided know that they're being raided. There's no pop-up. There's no pop-up to know that somebody's plying your coastline and stealing all your pops. They need to at least tell you. Okay, so what it needs to be is they need to tell you and give you a CB against the person who's stealing your pops. Or, oh, oh, no, 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 better, 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 better. Um, tell you that they're doing it. Give you a slave raiding CB against them. And use the raiding mechanics from CK2. So that for, you, you know, while they're in your coastline stealing slaves, y they are hostile towards you so you can send your ships out to get them. That would that would be good because, like, Aldro was like, I can see your ships, but they're not hostile. There's nothing I can do about it. Exactly. There's nothing you can do. Rose is seeing your ship's raiding mess. Oh, yeah. See, raiding... Oh, well, that, that's something about raiding is it's best to raid from your own, like, group, your own culture group or your own religious group because then you don't need to convert them when they get back to your capital. Uh, okay. Um, how much money do I make from commerce now? It's not much. 1.3, but it's something. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Commerce income. And uh, we'll grab the extra 5% here. And then I think I'll hold off on the others for now. What I could really use is a fort right here on the crossing, but I don't have that much of an income. A tale of two cities. The very nature of autonomous city-states often leads to disagreements between neighboring authorities. In this case, scenic coastal city of Punte. That's mine, right? That's here. Disagreeing with her neighbor of... Uh, Tentager? Tentager? Let's see. So one of them gets more taxes. A lot of freemen. Because I converted all the, the tribesmen. Um... This one's got more slaves, so more tax, so we're going to go with this one. And it's not enough unrest. Oh, well, nope, a little bit of unrest. Oh, you know what? If it's religious conversion is there too, so if it gets to be problematic, we just take that off. Income, fort, no fort, no country. Uh, well, I can't build the fort with no money. <laughs> It costs 70 ducats, and I can't, so, and, and there's no loans, and you, you can't willingly get yourself into the hole. 
So there's 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 not an Octavian, there's not an option for me to build the fort. I've already got the army maintenance on low. I could lower the wages, but I don't want to do that. Um and this this could get me a little bit more. I uh, see that's 0.12 per month is not worth minus 20% on research. Sell monarch points? No. Goes the other way. You can take money, you can convert money into monarch points. It go, only goes one way. Money into monarch points. And you can't, you, you can do it technically, um, uh, like unlimited, but it's, uh, it's 5% more money every time you do it. Child is born. Look at that happy little baby. Let's throw him in prison and eat him. Oh, wait, this isn't CK2. Yep. Uh, there, I, I really feel like there needs to be a, 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 a pop-up for that. Bare minimum, a pop-up. Why not get more slaves, more slaves, more money? Well, I mean, you're not wrong. The, 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 there is a downside of slaves, and that's a slave revolt. If you got 150 pops of slaves, and they turn into a stack of 150,000 slave revolts in your country, that's ugly. So happy baby, but the other one is a dumb baby. Yep, exactly. Get the coastal raid tradition, you can enslave India, basically. Wait, can, I wonder if that's on my list of things I can do. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Hostile attrition. That's going to be nice. Oh, build cost. Nice. Let's see. Trireme, Fort Defense, Military Colonies. Phalanx tactic. Doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna, uh, so, so, um, I'm not going to have access to the slave rating mechanics this time around, but that's okay. Alright, let's see. How is our conversion going? We are now at 30%, so he's basically doubled the amount of comedics we have in here now. Let's see, can we get a colony up yet? Not yet. But look at that, look at the happiness of the of these look at how happy these slaves are. These you know Look at them. They're the happiest people these slaves are the happiest people in my empire. Look, that's amazing. That's great. Oh, you know what could be a good a good pop up if they don't want to like if they want want it to be like more anonymous, maybe maybe give you a pop up to let you know it's been happened, but don't specifically you know just like a generic pop up being like our king uh, our our you know uh, you, you know uh, black sails darken the horizons and you know these people came ashore and blah blah and we got barbarians by the way. Oh fuck, nine thousand barbarians with heavy cavalry. And unfortunately, our army maintenance is on low. Where are they going? They're going here. Maybe give our guys a month to get some more uh, morale, and then we're gonna. Uh... So as long as the let's see, how long will it take to get there? September seventh. Okay, so it'll tick before they get there. Hopefully we don't all die here. Alternative teaching. The tutors that we have employed to oversee the education of our heir have been infusing lessons with an ideology unfamiliar to the uh, comedic upbringings of... Oh, God. Onk. No! No, 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 no. No, the tutor's trying to convert him. No, comedic all the way! Um, there, the, the way that you can, can you, you can prevent, um, raiding is to put forts in your ports. So there is a way to stop it. Oh god, our morale is so low! But I don't want them to, I don't want them to burn this down. Son of a bitch. Oh. Let's hope for the best! 
Okay, they're on generic shock. That's good. Oh, I'm taking so much. Oh, they rock. Ah, God damn it. Five to one. God damn it. Then we immediately broke and ran. Ah, oh, that's not good. All right, well, <laughs> this is bad. This is bad, guys. This is bad. Yep, because they, they reduce your civilization level and they can kill pops. So we're going to have to spend a while recouping from that. Broken arrow. I hate barbarians! I honestly didn't think I'd have to worry about them too much down here, but uh, okay, it didn't take long before the first ones hit. Oh, yes! Yeah, go that way! Go! Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Go that way. <laughs> Do you regain morale while retreating? No. I wonder if there's co-op. Uh, this does have multiplayer, yes. I've done a lot of multiplayer. I have... I already have three episodes of a multiplayer series uploaded to YouTube. I I did a 12-hour multiplayer stream yesterday, and I did nine hours of multiplayer over the last weekend. I've actually played this game more multiplayer than single player. Far more, actually. I've got, like... Oh, damn it! They immediately decide to cross back? Well, at least they're going to have a minus three this time. We're on skirmishing. We could try development. Is that... Development is... Damage versus shock. Minus 10%. So we'll just stick to way what we were. When are they going to arrive? No, at least they burned someone else's land down, too. And now we have more, we have more morale. Okay, come on. Yeah. They, they're rolling good, and they've got a, gen, a, a, a better general. At least they have minus three to their rolls now. Kill them all! Yes! I think we got him this time. Oh, it's turned into a bit of a slap fight. Have oh no no, there we go. I have to try to chase him down. Make sure we wipe him out. Oh, you mean you mean two players controlling the same nation? That I don't know about. Barbarians defeated. Shall profit greatly from this. Uh, to, uh, there was one pops captured that was distributed as slaves to. Oh. So did did I, I? Part of me wonders if like they captured citizens and then we were just like, okay, go back to your homes. But they're not your homes anymore. You're a slave to that family now. Renovations. Promise that there's an opportunity has arisen. One of the most. Oh, it's the temple thing again. I need the money. I need the money. Also, we need to put the army maintenance down so that we can save up for a fort. Yeah, I have, I have not tested to see if a single person can, or two people can control one thing. Starving pops. It was looted minus 5%. There's your problem. If I could, if I could import some grain or something, that'd be great. What is the, what is the trade resource here? Incense, commerce income. It's not, nothing I could really do to help them right now, unfortunately. Pre-order events in this, uh, do they have pre-order events in this press game? I don't know what you mean by that. I'm, I, I'm honestly not sure what you mean by that. 13 pops in total. Uh, he's doing his, he's doing a good job converting these people, so I'm just going to leave him to do his thing. Let's 
66. What am I up? Uh, have I grown at all? I was at, uh... I think I started... I think I started at 77. Did I actually go down? I may have gone down. Are the barbarians dangerous? Yes! Yes, the barbarians are dangerous. Very dangerous. And there's not really a way to stop them other than putting forts on the, the frontier. And right now, I cannot afford that. You mean like Hannibal sacking Rome as an event series? Well, no, because um, the uh, the game is player player driven, so like hard coded events like that don't really exist. Um, there's not going to be, you know, there are some events where if you do th if you do things, you know, there'll be events to that'll give you like special bonuses and stuff like that. But this is not this game is not on rails; it is player driven. But I, I, there, there are some things, and there are some things in there you can advance yourself. But you're not going to see like an AI Hannibal event chain going into Rome. And we just teched up civic elites. Let's see, civics. Civic gave us do, 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 national commerce income and uh, monthly wages for characters down, and it cycled into oh. Beautiful! Oh, if, as long as somebody will want to trade with me. Extra trade route in my capital. Does anybody want to? No, nobody likes me. Shoot. Well, we have access to a new omen. I think we're just going to do Blessing of Isis again. For the pop growth. I have that extra trade route. Hopefully, I'll be able to utilize it sometime. Uh, what about you? Do you have any... This guy have extras anywhere? He's got some extras. Probably doesn't like me, though. He's got extra uh, incense and fur. There's not a lot of good trade partners in the region. When can I colonize? Uh, once there's enough people converted... So like a lot, we need more more of these people to switch from um, Arabic to Kemetic. The dominant region uh, religion needs to be Kemetic before I'll be able to do it. So we're just kind of waiting on that. Does colonization reduce uh, population growth? No, it does not. What you're doing is you're physically moving a pop from one area to another. So you're so like if I uh, once the dominant religion is Kemetic, then we could take like. A pop and move them over there and then that's converted why not Jewish because that's not my that's not one of the available religions for this country man uh, religion map mode so I'm I'm kind of split between Arabic and Kemetic there's some Jewish up here but None of that's none, there's a little bit there, a little bit there. There's just no Jewish in my land, right? There's none of them. I don't have I have zero Jewish pops. Let's see. Uh unwelcome gift. Oh, the statue is hideous. Uh well mm, You're loyal enough. You can take a loyalty hit. You're loyal enough, sir. All right, any, any more good inventions? Research points, that might be worth taking. I'm going to take that one. I mean, it's it's a percentage, so it's going from 4 to 4.4, 4, so... It's not, th it's not that huge, but it'll help. It'll get me through some of these other techs. Like, I really like the religious... Um, uh, teching up religiously for the omen power. See, this is civilization level. We already looked at that one. We already looked at that one. I wish I had more trade routes to utilize, but uh, nobody likes me. So we're not. We're, there's not much I can do there. And I think what we'll do is we'll just hold on to these points. 
until, you know, we can just watch this. Because what'll happen is these will cycle out for other ones once these text out, and then we'll get more over here, too. Maybe we'll get better ones to choose from. Alright, so we got Aggressive Expansion Impact, Tyranny, Aggressive Expansion Impact. Uh, primary Cultural Happiness, Omen Duration, Pop Growth. Pop Growth. The Grain Ration. Those were all good. But I want the Pop Growth. 15 pops in total. I wish you were a little better at this, but what are you going to do? And your your leader is always going to be the uh, governor of your home there. What'd you miss? I almost died, but I managed to pull a white piece out of an aggressive war against me. Which was, which was a nice change of pace. I thought I was going to die the first 10 minutes. We've got a lot of oratory saved up. But there's not much to well, I mean, there's some we we could we could uh culturally convert some people. We are 95.65% uh microbian. But I don't think any of these people actually need to be converted for happiness purposes. Is that affecting their happiness at all? Oh, you know what? Yeah, we the, the dominant religion is the biggest issue. We just save them up. What's the plan now for apart from surviving? Um, waiting for religious conversions so that we can get a majority comedic, and then we can start colonizing and moving down the coast. I have 200 religious power. You can just in instantly convert. Oh, I know. I know, but I like to have a good a good religious bank, and considering it's uh, we're uh, it, he's converting them for free right now, and I'm relatively safe. Oh, yo, oh, 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 hang on, guys, hang on, hang on, fortress, right there. Oh, I didn't realize I had enough money. Religious proceedings struggle between the religious echelons of our society. The peasants have recently come to light as the populace at large feel like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, our high priest and his attendants demand the distant uh, needed to do their jobs properly. Priests will be left alone. Lose stability. Gain unrest. Omen power and duration. Um, we, could go, we could go to the middle. Gain a little religious power. Uh, gains a little loyalty. The peasants are right. It's time to open the gates of the temple. Gain a stability point. That's worth 200 power points. You know what? Um, our omens aren't super strong right now. I'm going to take the free stability point. Oh, you know what? Mm, better idea. I'm going to pay for one. I'm going to get the free one. For, for, I'm going to get the, the, the more expensive one for free. There we go. Upkeep on the fort. Well, the upkeep on the fort's really not that bad. And what I could always do is make sure that uh, the fort maintenance is uh, set, set too low for now. I've got a tiny income. I can afford it. Time for an invention. Uh, I'm going to go with happiness. Primary culture happiness, two and a half percent. Seventeen pops. I wish he was a little better at this. I've seen those numbers get up to about twenty-five percent chance to convert every month. What are you gonna do? Just uh, just to speed things up. Uh, once once I get a little bit more, cause that's the thing is I don't want to spend these on religious conversion right now. Because I don't have a good leader. This guy's not that good. 0, 5, 6, 4. So I get a total of 3, 5, 6, 5. It's really not that strong. It's really not that strong. 
It's got a lot of Freeman. City of uh, Tentature has taken upon itself to f a free a sizable quantity of privately owned slaves. I don't need more Freeman. Oh, damn it. I don't want to gain corruption. Corruption sucks. Ah, fuck it. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, though? We got lots and lots of Freeman. Not a lot of citizens. We're going to... And we have a lot of oratory. Let's do this. Convert convert a lot of these freemen to citizens. So what do we got here? So that's pretty even. Here too. That's what we'll do. Even that one out. That one's fine. That one's pretty good. That'll get us more research points. Yeah. Basically doubled it. All right, well, there's that. I'm getting a little impatient waiting for this guy to convert, though. If this was... If I was a more patient man, I would definitely just wait for this. There's still a lot to go before we have dominant religious uh, power, though. We're only at 37.6%. And I wish I could replace him, but I can't. Because it's my uh, capital. Oh, he got another one. Why don't, we, why don't... My impatience is getting to me. Why don't we do a couple? Start with the slaves. We'll just do one slave in each province. There we go. I'm not going to go crazy. Oh, I got us close to 50. Martial advantages. Morale of armies. Plus one. Point one. Ooh, and I can afford my first tradition. I, I'm kind of thinking attrition. What is the name of the country? Avalantia. Avalantia. There we go. Avalantia. Let's see, tri-room code. Let's see, what's down this area? Lots of camel stuff. I like that build cost. Let's see, light infantry. I, I'm going to have a lot of light infantry. Fort defense is nice. Military colonies are great. And down this way, heavy... I don't have any heavy infantry. This is like the phalanx side. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go with... Uh, hmm. Attrition of low supply areas is brutal. Yes, it is! I don't... It, uh, Cyrus, I don't have a specific goal for this. Um, it, it's more to just not die. And... Uh, what do military colonies do? You know what? I don't want to. I don't want to say give you incorrect information. So I am going to Google that. I think I know, but I don't want to give you incorrect information. Because it's been a number of months since I've. Yeah, this was from Dev Diary Eleven. Oh yeah, here we go. Military col colonies. Spend military points to create Freeman Pops of your culture and your religion in the current city. There we go. So what you can do is basically march your army into an area, and you could see, you basically kind of seed your, your 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 veterans there. You spend some military pops. Um, this is going to be more in more useful early. I think because like right now my goal is to just uh oh fuck attrition hostile you know hostile attrition I gotta take hostile attrition I gotta take hostile attrition that's going to make it brutal to get into my land I'm gonna have a fort too that means I'm actually going to have uh, a uh, you know, this area guarded oh it's gonna be great anybody like me enough to trade have it no okay Everything's fine. Yes. So you can see these areas are starting to flip. Now that it's the main... I might be able to colonize now. I might, might, might... Yes, there we are. Because now that Kemetic is the dominant culture here, we can move people from one of these over there.
All right, so, um... Yeah. Primary culture, primary religion. Move them on over. Huzzah! Olivanti is growing larger! What is the problem with the Arabic religion? It's not my state religion. My, I, I, my, my leader is Kemetic. So, uh, trying to convert everybody to Kemetic is, uh, is the way to go. The only other, what I, if I wanted to go with Arabic, I could, tr I would have to try to get someone Arabic in charge of the country. Which I really don't know how to do right now. And considering it's not, like, converting people with the governor policy is just a matter of time. Oh, hey, look! The guy who hit me is dead. I wonder if he had a little... No, well... What? Katabia. Katabia. So, there, that's just border gore. Katabia. Katabian revolt. Can someone depopulate? Yes. Areas can become depopulated, and be, you can lose it, and it just becomes uncolonized again. That can happen. Lofty ambitions. Let's see. So this guy right here and his dreams for a high office are fairly well known. Recently has been lobbying more internally for suitability and his deservedness. Hmm. Given the job, I think where this guy loses, uh, my steward loses loyalty. That guy becomes my new store steward and becomes more loyal. Office is best fitted to someone with peerless finesse. So, my current guy is better. This this act this is available because I have a lack of tact. I don't want to piss off. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, let's do it for funsies. Could you do that to Rome? Yeah. Yes, you could. All right, so let's see. Religion is comedic, perfect, and microbian. Let's see, the freeman here is microbian and comedic. So the people who already lived there were already perfect. Were already the correct culture and the correct religion. Beautiful. And this is part of my home state, home province. And we could, should just be able to... Oh, you know what? Um, dominant religion. Uh, so we're looking at... I think, the other, I think the ones I used before are too far away now? Hmm. Flips back. So what about the people from this area? Or the pop might... Ah, oh, the pop's probably not high enough there now. I like the game the more I hear about such things. There's a lot of really nice mechanics in it. Some things need some work, but there are a lot of really nice mechanics in it. Alright, supply limit. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm taking supply limit. Super numeri. Or it'd be super numerier. EI. Super numerii. Friends in high places. Oh, we got another sycophant. Become friends. Excellent. Where are the sailors? No sailors. Um, Paradox has already said that they know the naval system is pretty bare bones. June, they are shooting for a, uh, a patch in June to flesh out the Navy. That is on the docket. That is stuff that is on the list of things to do. 22 pops converted. Delightful. Now, what? Uh, I think we just had fish or something down here. Oh, no, it was incense. Excellent. That's commerce income plus one or plus 10%. This is fish. That would give us another surplus of fish. That's another Freeman happiness of 
for every extra one. We're okay, still waiting on those conversions. There's a lot. There's a lot to do. What are we at? Forty-five percent. Warfare is totally you for you would have preferred something more like CK2 for the battles. Not sure what you mean. Like what what specifically? Cuz CK2 is very hands-off for combat. It's just raise up your troops and throw them in battle, basically. I mean, you could build specific buildings in CK2 to try to augment a specific troop type and then you've got your retinue, but um, retinues do exist in this game for tribals, so that is a thing. But I always found the the actual warfare in CK2 pretty pretty bare bones and lame, because it's just get your guys together, hope they don't attrition out, and slam your your doom stacks into each other. Oh, we have this again. Why are they freeing all their slaves? No, 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 not this time. I, you people need to work. All right, we're mm, probably manually convert a couple down. I want to stay above two hundred. Do the citizens. Kind of spread it out nicely. One more. There we go. Please tell me we got above 50% with that. Oh, yes. I was actually... I, I hit flip then. I didn't realize that it was on the other side now. So, uh, we're at 61% now. Yup. And we can colonize this one too now. Kinetic? Move. There we are. Excellent. <laughs> Delightful. And that is also still in my capital. I believe... Wow, there's a lot of people there. They are all the right culture and all the right religion. So these people are going to be happy being a part of my new empire. Beautiful. Yes, our pops are growing larger. What's the problem with the freemen? The slaves produce money, the freemen don't. Sorry, my nose itches from allergies. Um, it's, um... Here, I'll show you. Slaves. Straight up produce taxes. So you it's just money. Freeman is manpower. Manpower is great. I need money. My economy is, is, is rough. I mean, I don't have a lot of manpower right now, but right now, but what I I could use buildings to increase my economy, which could I could then use to build buildings to increase my manpower. I'd rather have the slaves. So, how much is this? Ooh. Time for an omen. Blessing of Isis. Oh, yes. Someone wants to trade with me. Fish. Yeah, that's fine. We have tons of fish. Industrious folks in... It's always this one place. They're always doing stuff here. Uh, okay. They get a free granary. Sure. That's great. I should probably build a fort. I would love to have a fort in my capital, but I don't even have a, a building slot for it. What's the trade good at the tip of the Horn of Africa? Okay, we've got uh, elephants. And um, leather. Elephant leather. Siege ability, discipline for heavy infantry, which I don't have. Oh, let's get some elephants. That's what I want to do. See, the problem is, is that, uh, well, actually, no, it might not be a problem. Because we're starting to go into different provinces. This is all one, this is all one province right here. I'm still just, I'm still just in punt here. It's all one province. Uh, and when you go for another one, the, it's, um, when you're colonizing, it's, it, it has to be adjacent in the province, I think it is. 
So, like, this one will only be... I'm pretty sure this one can only pull from this one. So, what trade did we get here? Oh, more fish. So, good. Good, 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 good. We traded away a fish, but then we got another fish. So, we're good. Where did you get the cat? They got a hair on your face. Binks sheds a lot. So, like, he jumps into your lap. You pet him a couple times. It's just a cloud of fur everywhere. Slave output, wrong call. Ooh, slave output. Hell yes. Yes, yes, I saw that and I was like, yes, I want it. I don't need anything else. Yes, this is delightful. All of the people I'm uh, that are already living in the lands I'm colonizing are the correct religion and the correct culture, which just further makes my nation more homogenous. It's perfect. Move a pop. Yeah, you can move pops over there then colonize. Moving pops cost um, uh, civic power, which I'm really pretty low on, and I'm using that for all of the great modifiers for the inventions. So um, I could move them there, but you have to pay for that. That's how you would. Uh, that that's how you would normally do it. I was just in this area where it was really like easy to colonize those first couple ones. Yeah, okay, so support, support colonization, we must control an adjacent city with at least 10 pops. That's not that big of a deal, though, because this has already got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Already got 8 pops. So it only require a movement of 2, so that's like 40 or 50 civics, so it wouldn't be that hard. Um, that's incense. I could probably just wait on that, though, for now. Another trade route available. Nobody wants to trade with with Magnu. Part of me wants to go hit this son of a bitch. Oh, oh, he, wait. Gives tribute to Himjar? So, this area broke away from Himjar, then became a tributary state? Interesting. Got a lot of oratory and not much to do with it. I could assimilate people. I just uh, make sure everybody's culturally perfect. And now we're done with that. <laughs> okay. 27 pops converted. So, uh, let, hang on, let's, let's, let's math that. Calculator. There's my calculator. So that, like, having this guy convert those by himself saved me over 500, um... Do it. Uh, uh, religious power, which I have been using for Omen. So it's definitely, it, while I could have gone there and just dumped my, my religious power into converting the area, um, letting him do it for free, basically. Is that, what about the, uh, the North colonies? North colonies. Oh, th uh, if you're looking it up here, this is, this is not colonizable. This is not colonizable for anyone and neither is this. These are just desert trade routes with no supply limit. Which is great for me. Woo! Open power. War deck from War deck Carthage. No, no, we're not doing that. So these are these are basically just like trails through the desert and along the coastline. It's not colonizable land. Actually, is there anything else I could do with this right now? Uh, yeah, there is. How do you feel about me? In a defensive league with the other guy down the down the way. Yep, yep, those guys down there. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm big enough to force demand tribute. Uh, let's see. Their opinion must be 100. There's only 30 client state spaces. Here, let's uh, see if we can do this. Let's let let's 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 uh, improve opinions with these guys. Maybe we can uh, peacefully integrate them. Can you conquer along the trade routes, the desert routes? Uh, no, it's uncolonizable. You cannot have these. Are not actual cities. They're just provinces you can walk through. Have no civilization. Um, barbarians can spawn. Well, no, they do have a little bit of civilization value, I guess. I thought they would all be at zero. 
but there's nobody living in them. Barbarians can spawn from them. Um, I mean, it's happened before, and this is where fucking barbarians came from before. It's just... shit land. Thought you were in Morocco? No, 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 no. Different, different bit of Africa. We got another turbulent priest. Uh, let him complain. I don't care about him. We have, we have enough money for another building. Marketplaces increase local tax and commerce income. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we're going to pop down here. We're going to do a greenery. Because I need the pop growth over here to keep colonizing. So let's do that. Fort. See, the thing is, is the upkeep on the fort. I already got one here. And there's not really another great place to put one. I would like to have one in my capital, but it's not big enough yet. And down here is not super useful, given the upkeep cost. So right now, this one's good enough. I would love this to be a level two fort, but I don't. The population's not large enough yet. Once it, once the population is large enough here, yeah, we'll put a level two fort in there. Does anybody else want to trade with me? No. Okay, that's fine. I paid for that trade route. I can't utilize it because nobody likes me. Or it might be because they don't have any extra. Well, like this guy doesn't have any extra trade goods. This guy does. How do you feel about me? Even. Outs Outside of my Diplo range? Really? Damn it. Capital should already have one base for level without actually building fort. Yes, you're true. You're right about that. But I would like to have more, because early game level two forts are nasty, nasty. What like uh, one of the best things you could do is build a level two fort in an area that has low uh, low supply limit, because having an enemy stack up on a fort in an area with low supply and having to have at least ten thousand troops there at all time, you could make a you can make them choke on their fucking attrition. All right, is there anything that increases Diplo range? <laughs> That's my problem. Nope. Hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna go with change governor governor policy cost because that'll save points in the long run. What's the civilization level here? 38. Not too bad, really. I'm happy with that. I, I, I'm, I'm actually really happy with the way things are going so far. I'm a little perturbed about the Diplo range thing. I feel like right up, right up the gulf here should be fine. I feel like that should be... that. I, it's just right there. <laughs> Take Carthage as Sparta, but that's out of range. I, no, that's that's. I understand Diplo range being a thing, but the problem is, is there's no way to visualize it. There's no way to, uh, there's no like Diplo range map mode or anything like that. Like diplomatic shows you your trade partners, and who you're at war with, and tributaries and stuff like that. I need a map mode for that. Like a map mode that just get, sh colors green everybody within your tri within your your range. There you go. I, it's, there's no way to visualize it. It's like it's 600 somethings. It's 600 doodles. Does it actually show you uh, distance? I wonder. I bet it. I bet there is a way to see individuals. Like if you're looking at colonial range in U4 or something like that. All right, how are we doing here? Growth, growth, growth. There we go. 0.37 every month. Not too bad. It'd be a while before we could get to that, though. 
All right. And this is ticking up now. Good. Excellent. Cool. I guess we'll just sit on the oratory points because there's not much more for us to do. In Diplo, ah, in Diplomat Road, you can see the range? Okay, so let's put it on here. Let's go to this guy. A distance of 900. Diplo range is 880. So there are like 50 range ducats out of range. Yeah, there you go. See, there's my, that's part of my problem is the, the Diplo range. I, I need to up my Diplo range. How do omens work? I will show you. Well, it'll be easy to show you once the current omen uh, wears off. But basically, it's 200, base 200 points, and it gives you a, uh, there's eight of them, I think, and it gives you a boon based on your omen power. And your omen power is based off of a lot of things. A lot of different modifiers, your religious unity, stuff like that. When you get to the next rank, yeah. Uh, I think that's 25? Let's see, what am I at? Eight. I have eight cities. I know there's a way to see the... God, I know there's a way to see the breakdown, but I don't remember where it is. Hmm. I know, I, I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, I could change some laws. I could use some points on some laws. There you go. See if I could find any that I like. Legitimacy, research points, national tax, but I can't do that one. Oh, I don't have any me precious metals. Freeman happiness. This is national Freeman happiness. Commerce income, but they're less happy. Patron of the Arch. Um, you're loyal enough. Now it's taxes. That's taxes. Oh, do I care? I mean, I could definitely increase my... I, I, I get most of my money from taxes. National unrest. Tribal integration. Well, everything's just going... By itself, omen duration. Ooh, like that one. It's a lot of laws. I haven't looked through most of these too terribly. Victory options for the game. Uh, I mean, there's not really a victory option. It's whatever you set your goal to be. Like right now, my goal was to not immediately die, so I'm feeling pretty good. Should have seen research points. Oh, that's we already looked at that one. Wrong culture. I don't care about the other cultures. We're getting rid of them. Well, they, we we don't we don't have any. Uh, anything to increase my taxes is going to be good. Commerce income. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this one. We're gonna increase our taxes. I have a lot of oratory power. Gonna help out the economy a little. Oh yeah, way better than it was before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm just gonna evenly spread granaries around to get that pop growth going. Paradox gave you make your own goals. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not one for world conquest because I generally find that pretty boring. Um, this this game I'm playing right now, I just wanted to try out somebody in the uh, the Arabian tradition group because I hadn't done that yet. Is there uh, any way you could raid for slaves? Yes, there is a way to wait, raid for slaves, but that's in the Hellenic group. I think somebody else got it. I, I think another tradition group gets it too, but that does not exist in my tradition group, so that's uh, that's off limits for me. Feel like us that pre-ordered got cheated by no early access. Uh, Paradox doesn't give early access for pre-orders. They never have. I mean, I, a lot a lot of companies do that, but that's not a thing a Paradox has ever really done. See. Ooh, ow! That's a good one right there. Military tradition cost minus ten percent. 
Whoop! That's gonna uh, cut down this price right here. <laughs> Considering I have such a shit military ruler, that's gonna help me out. Carthage Judges 2. Um, I have no idea what their actual tradition group was. Is there a way to see? I do not have any of this stuff memorized yet. Let's see. Here we go. North African traditions there. Can unlock cavalry skirmish ability. I don't see it on the list there. Because if you go, let's see. If we will be on the list for, because I was playing as the Bosporan Kingdom before. Allows phalanx, cavalry skirmish, military colonies, raid city ability. So, so yeah. You can see the Greek traditions have raid city. I don't say that these guys do. North African traditions. Here, let, let, let's see if it's somewhere else on the list. Uh, we'll, we'll Google, we'll Google Foo, see what's going on here. We got to actually type in Imperator Rome for that to work. Uh, let's see. What was it? Uh, North African traditions. Okay, do 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 do. I'm looking, I'm looking. Attrition, manpower, offense, triremes. Allow repair at sea ability, loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Mercenaries, triremes, heavy infantry. Uneasy relations, uh, more manpower from subjects. Okay. I don't see it on there. Traditions work the same, EU, Rome. Slots to fill. Uh, no, not really. Your traditions are more like unlocking technologies in EU4. Once you get enough points, you pick one. I don't, yeah, I don't see the ability for Carthage to steal slaves anywhere on there. Got a friend across the border. Where are you? Over here. We lose some money. Their war chief, uh, well, this guy likes us more. He's a war chief. Let's see. Oh, th are those two hands shaking? Is that what that is? Oh, yeah, it's like two hands. thought it was like a broken elbow or something. Uh, <laughs> it's like a hand grabbing another hand, I think. Um, is, is this guy matter at all? He doesn't look like it. I'm just going to say no. I'm, I'm just going to say I, I don't need you. Sorry, friendo. You, you, you don't mean that much to me that I need you over there. So, do you have any, do you still have any allies? Yeah, you do. So it's not, so a military excursion across the border is not exactly viable right now. But look, the pop's going up, that's good. Now we all. I'm happy about that. How many people have converted? 28 now. That's one more than last time. So what is uh, the breakdown? The, the, the Arabic is down to 27.5%, excellent. This will be useful later once I have access to more trade partners. I'll be able to make way more money from it. We actually do make some money from trade now, though. Before it was like 0.2 or something like that. And we can we can convert 46 ducats into uh, some points, but I don't think I really need to right now. I kind of can't wait for this guy to die. He's 58. He's just he's not that good. Zero five six four is just not great. I mean, I, I, I would rather have the higher numbers on military and finesse than anything else. Oh, omen power time. Okay, so omens. Two hundred power po uh, points base, and you just pick which one you want. That. How good is my? Hair? We're gonna check that out in a hot second. Uh, and I've just been stacking the blessings of Isis to try to get the pop growth. All right. Uh, do 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 do. Three, three, four, three. That's not good. Uh, 
Oh my god, the next one. This guy is so much better. Hmm. There's, oh, I can't get rid of him. He needs to be imprisoned. I can't. Okay, you can't. Okay, it's kind of like CK2. You can't just go like, nope, get rid of you. Oh, man. Kill off my primary. I don't know. I haven't really done much of the character interaction yet. He's. No, I'm 58. He's only 20. Oh, he's a total shitbird, too. Base 2. Ugh. Uh, FB plays, uh, Twitch. Plays Twitch. There we go. Thanks for the doodle. Okay, okay. What if... Can I get this guy to support a pretender to the throne, I wonder? He's very loyal. I could have sworn there was a way to get people to support a pretender to the throne. Mm. Man, my second child is so much better. God damn it. I don't I don't know if there's a way to, if he died, that would be one thing. What if I put the pretender to the throne in charge of the army? Change my inheritance laws. Oh, I can check that. Mmm. I hadn't thought about that. In this manner of succession, the eldest child of the ruler will be the primary heir, regardless of gender. Rural siblings to intermarry, thus avoiding any chance of lineage to be sullied. So this is the incest option. Is this 471 AD or BC? Neither, Spiri. It's um, uh, after the founding of Rome. But it does have a conversion. 283 BC. So this just, no, none of these are going to help. Uh, let's see. In which the reigning monarch's younger sons are higher in the succession one. This just means women can. This means his brothers will, will come onto the throne. And this just means they like incest. Should we just do that for funsies? I really just want this guy to be like, I've got the army, I'm in charge. How far east can you go? All of India's on here. All, almost all the way to China. Uh, Spiri, they, they use this one because that's how Romans counted the year. So Romans counted the years in... in, in uh, years since the founding of the city. The founding of the city was 753 BC. But for those who don't like it, there is a converter right there. And this is Im 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 Imperator Rome, so... Should we just do the incest option? Yeah, 10. It, it's right up there. Ab Ube Condita. You know what? Uh, sh should we should we just do that for funsies? Martial finesse, charisma, uh, and uh, uh, what the fuck is this called? I don't even know. Zeal, zeal. There you go. 
Just go get your primary era stack wipe. That, that, that sounds like a bad idea. Get That would involve me getting involved in a war that I would lose. <laughs> Veterans move on. That's some free manpower. God damn it. Look at this guy. And this one's good too, the 14 year old. Wait, 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 wait. Succession divine partnership. The eldest child of the rule will be the primary heir regardless of gender in order to secure a strong, legitimate bloodline. However, it becomes commonplace for royal married siblings to intermarry, thus avoiding any chance. Oh, God, that's still just the eldest sibling. Wait, eldest. Eldest child. Oh, damn it. It's not going to help. If you smear his reputation, will the pretender look more legitimate? We could always try that. Possible successors. See, this is the one we like. Look at that. Succession support. Second son of ruler. Nine, 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 nine. nine. A thousand. This guy, oh, look at that. Everybody supports the second one. Okay, we'll do that. We'll just, we'll just, just tell, tell everybody that he's a shithead. Everybody supports him. Huh, maybe we can make this work. Do religions have a, uh, as a whole have religious power? If you're talking about, like, um, like moral authority from CK2, I don't believe so. This is the religious unity of my land. And it doesn't, there doesn't seem to be any other information on there, so it doesn't look like it. All right, so so the kid we like is in charge of the entire military, and everybody supports him. We need to make him more popular. It barely goes up. I'm going to make friends with him. I'm going to be friends with my own son. I'm a deviant. I can't hold a triumph. Because it's been too long since my last victory. It's been a long time since my last victory. Oh, this is the good... Oh, what is it? This is the good one. This is the guy I like. Making an impression. Y yeah, there we go. Well, I don't want to lose the civic power. I'm going to... I'm going to... You will do oratory. Yeah, there we go. We want everybody to love this kid. Oh, okay. Hope he doesn't start a civil war. No, I want him to start a civil war, and I want him to win the civil war. This is what I want to happen. I gain, I, I gain a rash. I have a rash. Uh, let's see here. Minus one finesse. That's a, that's exactly what I needed. Everyone likes gold. I can try to bribe my own son. We'll give 250 personal wealth to him. How, what was about personal wealth? 68. What, what happens if I do that? Negative 180. I broke. Personal wealth. Yeah, there you go. Personal wealth. Two, he had one ducat to his name before. If you lose the Civil War, is it game over? Depends on the situation. Um, generally, no. If if it is a if it's a rebellion, yes. But it's not like CK two where you're playing as a character. You're it's more like EU four where you're playing as a nation. The gladiator, previously unknown gladiator, has risen to great province in the prominence in the arena, drawing huge crowds. Let's see. Buy uh, and gift him to who's it's. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to use the civic power. My person, my my personal wealth, I don't care about. 
trade route disappeared. Damn it. Okay, now we're friends. Good. Did I lose? Did I have? No, it's just the one trade route I lost. I can bring in wine. Oh, that's why. All right, trade with the revolt. <laughs> there we go. Ultra happiness, sacrifice to the gods cost, popularity. Cost, national citizen output, build cost minus 10. Oh, I like that. Build cost minus 10. We're taking that one. That's gonna knock all of the um, buildings down to 60 ducats. Look at that. All right, do you have a granary already? You do, let's do a marketplace. Excellent. There we are. Okay. Oh, you are so much better than my dipshit. Uh, I think it was government. Yeah, here we go. Succession report. Everybody supports him. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I personally could support you, friend. Can I keep smearing you? Make him less pot. Oh, his popularity is already zero. It's already zero. You can keep doing it as long as you want, but I mean, it's already nothing. Died of dysentery. Oh, that's okay. Did you just go to just gobble up some of this? Gives tribute. Yeah. Huh. Uh, so that was my master of the guard that I just lost. Can I? No, I can't make the he make. I can't make my uh, second son master of the guard and a general. Granary could be. I already got a granary there. So we're trying to increase our population here. We only have access to one build, city building. We already got a. We've already done that. Extra train route for nothing. 29 per props converted. Finally. Should be a way to assassinate your air for a huge stability hit or something. No, that's too easy. There used to be a, like, CK2 used to have stuff like that in it. Where all you needed to do was pay cash to assassinate people. And it made the game far too simple. Game looks super co fucking confusing, but I'm just, uh... Uh, wigging myself out. Is it like EU4 on steroids? No. It, the way I've been um, discussing or discussing this with people is it's like I've been saying that it's 60% EU4, 20% CK2, and 20% Victoria 2. It is not any more complicated than any of those other games, and it is significantly less complicated than all of those games because those games have been out for years and have a lot of DLC and added functions. If you have played any of them before, you'll understand a lot of the concepts and mechanics. Um, but if you have never played any of them before, yes, it'll be very confusing. Me, myself, I've played, I've got, you know, like 2,000 hours in EU4, like 1,600 hours in CK2, and a few hundred hours in, in Vicky 2. So I've played all of the games that this pulls from, so a lot of it is pre comes pretty natural to me. Economy's doing better, that's good. Oh, I was about to say, is this not colored in at all? It's just, it's just this black color that kind of goes away if you zoom in. All right, um... Yes! Comedic is the dominant religion in all of my cities now. Beautiful. Pretender support. The following people support a pretender. See, what I want to do is have them support someone else. 
Could you build a single bolt, put your primary area in charge of it, and find a way to attack our larger pirate fleet to get him killed off? I don't think that would get him killed off, honestly. How quickly do you think a casual U4 player would learn this shit? I, I would say if you're a casual player, 100 hours. 60 hours. Something like that. Let's give free hands. Oh! I gain corruption and he gains loyalty. Okay. I just want this kid in power. Oh! Oh! I'm getting sick! My health is still fine, though. I'm not- I'm not that sick. This green bar is your health, FYI. I like this guy so much better. Pirates ahoy! See, a fleet of pirates has attacked the port. Oh god. So I could change my law to anti-piracy edict. What's it? What's up here, I think. Actually, that's perfectly fine. So I don't have a navy right now, so naval morale doesn't matter. And that would actually give me access to the anti-piracy edict way before I normally would be able to. At a lower cost than I normally would be able to. Sure. There you go. Hmm. I'm just hoping that this guy will take his army and seize power. Only a couple of the cohorts are personally loyal. He's got 200 ducats to his name. Let's see, this guy's got 12 ducats to his name. God, there's just nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do to make this kid... I'm just... Like, his popularity's going up. But everybody already supports him. Why are you disloyal? Well, you're also really sickly. You've got diphtheria. I don't care about you. You're gonna die. And you're 70. He's gonna die. Spear reputation of the primary heir. Already done that. His, his uh, popularity is already, like, nothing. I've done it twice already, so it's already really low. And everybody already supports the other one, so I think we're just gonna have to wait and see how it unfolds. Cause like, every- like, this guy's got two supporters. This guy's got 22 supporters. And this is the one I want. So we're just gonna hope for the best. That, uh, I'll- that I'll- I'll die take over as this guy, and then this guy will overthrow me. Uh, that, that's what we're hope is we're, we're gonna hope is gonna happen. Let's see, what do we got? Tech speed, tribesman happiness, naval morale, dip, diplo range. D diplo range. <laughs> now we just need to, now, now we need to say, hang on, dip, diplo, 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 diplo. Our range is a thousand. We can trade with this guy now. Okay. Okay. Now I just need I just I just need twenty five civic power to set up another trade route. Ah, oh, there we go. Tank your legitimacy because uh cause support for primary air to wane. Nobody supports the primary air is the thing. Nobody supports him. Except for two dudes. And uh, the 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 one thousand on this is because he's my first son, so he's the legitimate one. My legitimacy uh, ticks down. There's not, I don't think there's much I can do at this point. All right, trade route, elephants, elephants. No. Why not? Strategic trade, good distant city.
Was it, wait, was it this guy who had it or this guy? Who had the elephants? This one. Wait, is was I looking at the wrong one? Are you out of we range? We love you. Shut up, baby. I know it. No, he's not out of range. Utari, hey, hey. Do you hate me? He doesn't like me. Here, let's improve our relations there. Also, you know what I haven't checked in a while? This guy's love for me. Base minus 80, possible strength minus 10, uh, rank minus 10. Okay. So that's not really going to happen. So we, we'll just kill him. We'll just murder this guy. Oh, uh, what's the, uh, what's, what's the supply limit here? Good enough. It's fine, it's fine. We'll just go to war. We'll just do that. Oh god, I just opened that trade route, you bastards! Doom! Why does nobody want to trade with me? Nobody loves African Ben. Nobody wants to trade with me. This guy doesn't have any excess goods. This guy's a bitch and doesn't want to trade me as elephants. Bulimia. Yeah. I just gotta, I gotta get my opinion with him higher and then he'll be willing to trade. Impressions? Good so far. Um, some bugs that need to be squashed, some UI stuff that needs to be fixed, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Go to war with him and get your son stack wiped. That's not going to kill him though. Getting an, a, a, a unit stack wipe doesn't murder the general in charge. There is a chance the general could get captured by the enemy, but it's not going to kill him. Like in um, in CK2, if you get your army stack wiped, the, the generals don't die. They just go home. In EU4, if you get your, your army stack wiped, if they die, if the, the, the army stack wiped, the general just goes back into the pool. Excursion to the zoo. You want to see the elephants? I love the elephants. My favorite are the penguins. Oh, shit. Mother bitcher. As soon as I walk away. As soon as I freaking walk away. Fort maintenance. So many more of them this time, too. God damn it. Hey, Texas. <sighs> well, this is my... Okay, what's here? This is the a bitter feud between the good air and the bad air. Uh, it is of little surprise, therefore, there are two ambitious claimants to the throne. So we want... Uh, Neferibur, and we don't like Ankh. No, don't side with Ankh. No, 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 we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want them both. I guess we'll just say they'll, they'll, they'll see each other as rivals. Highlight video gave me life, yeah. Uncivilized barbarians with heavy cavalry. Yeah, I know. Team Ankh, no, no, it's not, not Team Ankh, Ankh's a dick. Wait, what? It's a gear size. It was on. I know it was on low maintenance, but it was gear size minus fifty percent, not zero, unless they assaulted it. I think they assaulted it. Bastards. They must. They must have just attacked it. But uh, all right. Now and it flipped everything to barbarian. 
God damn it. Uh, local shrine, uh, sacrifice to burn the shrine has been lost. What is the foci of the shrine? But without it, they fear they have lost a certain connection to God. Find a new bird. God damn it. All right, I'll just take the corruption. Bastard barbarians. God damn bastard barbarians. Blessing of Isis. Just trying to stack pop growth. Oh, damn it. They made it back over already. This is a disaster. And I'm going to take attrition. Ugh. Lost a researcher. God, everybody's better than me. My old bastard won't die. Corruption? Uh, yeah, I think it's around somewhere. Is it, uh, that's, that's legitimacy. I guess on the character. Corruption right there. Corruption's bad. Produ corruption increases power costs. There's 400 guys in here. Can I assault my own city? Let's wait for one roll. It's a 13. Knocked it down to 178 men. Too low on morale to, to keep fighting. Oh, do I have my army on? That'd be something to check out. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I did. I feel, I feel like I need the discipline right now. There's only 169 men still doing this. Oh, God. I'm have the sieging back my own freaking fort. They always uh, they always hit this this province right here, so maybe I need a fort there too. A fort everywhere. Go get them. There we go. Uh, <laughs> they're still out there somewhere, guys. They're still out there. Okay, so. We need to keep the fort maintenance up. Lost our high priest. Livestock? Where can I get that from? Oh. Dude. It's population growth. This guy likes me. Probably need forts everywhere, yeah. Like, because they, they seem to come from here or here. Yeah. Did I lose any pops? I don't think so. I didn't see the little pop notification. Oh, God, the ugly statue again. The ugly statue. D yeah, let's just knock it down this time. These guys loyal? No, okay, the loyalty didn't tick up. Can I give you a... I was about to say, I can't give, give him a triumph because we didn't fight the barbarians. We didn't actually have that, uh, a battle with them. Well, I was gonna go kill you, but the, you know, well, I guess we'll go do that now. We'll go do it now. And keep that garrison up. Yeah, it need, they need to be able to not just assault it down like that. That was a freaking problem. What sucks, too, is that, um... 
It's already in areas of control, so it's like a less effective thing I could be doing. But they always hit that province. Oh, what did you miss? Not much soul pelt. Uh, barbarians again. Assaulted down my fortress. I'm gonna go hit, kill this guy. Because I could just walk across Daka 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 and get to him. What do you what do you make here? What do we make here? Salt? Perfect! Absolutely perfect. And I'm trying to improve relations with this guy so he'll sell me his damn elephants. Because, uh... If we go to elephants... Strate strategic trade goods. So he's less likely to trade it with me because I could use it in war. Colonize it yet? Uh, I'm two pops off from being able to do this because I've got um, eight. So we got one. We could always move two over. I mean, that's an option. We can move two from here to there because this is like this is like nothing. I think we'd have to do that through here. So we could. Uh, Yeah, we could just take these tribesmen and move them over. That's, uh, Malo. And then we should be able to colonize this one. Uh... Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of doodle. And I can unlock another military tradition now. Let's see. Trireme cost, or we're gonna do light infantry defense or heavy infantry cost. I kind of want to just keep going down this one just to get these camel bonuses. Barbarian super strong or are you just unlucky? Both. They spawned in with 13,000 men and uh, I had moved my army down here to attack these guys and they spawned in so as soon as I left, I left. I walked out and they showed up. You know what? I'm actually going to go with this one because this one's useful right now. The trireme cost isn't going to get me anything right now. Let's we'll see. We are going to... Fabricate a claim. And then we have to wait a month. Game has surprisingly decent AI. It's The, the AI can do some really interesting things. I've seen it be rather intelligent. It's a desert, which means we're going to be sitting on attrition for a while. Should we, uh, should we do this first, though? Supply limit 16. Yeah, it's all desert, so there's always going to be a little bit of attrition. I want to be able to stack wipe this guy right away, because I, I anticipate they all have about the same amount of troops. Four and four, yeah. So if 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 I stack wipe him right off the bat, then they only have eight thousand. Build a wall, and make Rome pay for it. Uh, I might have to build a wall. That is, even in his own country. Yeah, all desert gives you attrition no matter what. All right, so yeah, we're gonna take this thing, declare war. I really wish there was. What the fuck was that? There was a declare war noise like an EU4. Badong! I missed the badong. Oh, you know what I could use? Do, 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 do any of these guys have a navy? Zero. 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 Okay, I can build one trireme. Oh, I don't have wood! No, I can't. Never mind. Lame. Surreal Beliefs, uh, so, uh, took out Surreal Beliefs as the Seleucids, didn't it? Oh, that, that had something to do with enemy captured. I right, captured a general. Cool. Uh, that did have something to do with, uh, massive external threats. <laughs> I've got wood board. Oh! I'm woodless, guys. I'm completely woodless.
Yeah, the supply limit here is not an issue. It's just the fact that it's a desert province under siege. How do you guys feel about Germany denouncing the U.S.? Italy having Mussolini's grandson run for office. Was it his grandson or that was his granddaughter? Doesn't matter, though. And Japan building its military again. Well, Bretton Woods had to fall apart at some point. It wasn't going to last forever. Gains prestige popula in popularity. Uh, yeah. Want to make sure everybody loves me. The saddest quo. Oh, I got better. I barely lost any health at all. Die, you stupid old bastard. Thanks for following, Sparrow. Hey, bed and pretty people. Hello, hello. My old bastard leader won't freaking die. Oh, somebody wants to trade with me. Please. I need trade routes. You know what? If, if I could annex all of these guys, that would be amazing. That would give me little bastions to colonize out from. That'd be great if it works like that. All right, all I need is a 14. I rolled a two. Pardon me while I eat an oatmeal bar. Four is not a 14, I'm missing a digit. Oh, that got jumbled. I, fi yeah, I, I figured, Sparrow, because I didn't understand what you meant there. Try, try, take two. And yeah, my damn bastard leader. Like, that, that... Zero military, four finesse, and four religion. That fucking sucks. He's got more points in oratory. That's the one I don't need for anything. I just, every once in a while, I go through and I go, eh, I guess I could, I don't need to assimilate anybody because we're homogenous. Every once in a while, I go, eh, I guess I could promote some freemen. Do I have tribals? Yeah, here's some tribals. Go ahead and convert, promote a couple of those guys. And then we can do a couple, a couple of those uh, freemen into citizens. Here, let's do that. One in each province. There we go. Spend a little bit of that down. Twelve. Oh shit, they're coming. I feel like I'll win this though. I'm gonna have, well, it's a desert. Well, what are they gonna get here? 27th, oh, uh, ro come on. One in three chance, finish the siege. Where side my, I, oh God, now they're all there. 15,000, how do they get 15,000? Oh, they, they each went up in cahoots. If I had finished that siege, I would have been fine. Oh, but we do get to piecemeal them. Shit. No, I want to see the battle for Christ's sake. Oh, we're both on skirmish. And, oh, and they're better. Their discipline is way higher. Oh, I'm wrecking them in their their morale. When is this guy arriving? I got we I got almost three weeks. I might be able to piecemeal this out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There we go! There we go! Fight one, then the other. Oh, oh, oh. Hunting accident for your leader in air. I wish. Come on! Finish the siege. Uh, at least we got to fight them one at a time. And we did fine. Oh, yeah. We did fine. Cap captured. Another one. Oh, come on! Fucking A. I really wish... I really want them to fix this so that these numbers display correctly. There's a 42% chance of victory rolling 11. Should be a victory! These numbers are not correct. There we go. Fucking finally. Give a month to the, for these guys to unattrition. So now I can end this with a victory right now, if I want to. 
There we go. And then we're going to march over here and see if we can't take out another city. But rope meal bar is not very good. But I woke up too late to eat a proper breakfast today. So at least I can go ahead and grab this if I want to. And if I'm, I would love to take out the others. Sieging cities gets you get some slaves. Yeah, it's a, it's there's a chance. I think there's a slavery, there's a slavery chance. I don't remember what it is though, or where it's displayed. But there's a chance to grab slaves. It's all naval stuff, mother bitcher. Tax modifier, capital import routes. Fuck it. We'll stack those for later when everybody loves me. Word strange, you're actually winning. Oh yeah, um, the camels are really good. Yeah, exactly. If I could take these, it, it gives me a uh, a foothold. Exactly. That's why I want it. Because that, then I could expand out in multiple directions and fill everything in. You only got the road trip. Yes, but it'll be useful later. It'll be useful later. Oh, yay. I, I got gout. Uh, How does that affect my health? Uh, gout minus 1%. Die, you old bitch. <laughs> you won't die. Now I have two unused rounds. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill those out. I swear to god I'm gonna fill them out eventually. Oh and sorry Utari, that's for uh I didn't put uh fill that out for this. The, the today's today's goal is to just not die. Come on. Ooh, not a bad roll. Not a bad roll at all. So I know they were using skirmishing. Is there anything I can go that's good against skirmishing? Against uh, so deception would do extra damage versus skirmishing. So we're gonna switch to deceptive tactics. We're being deceiving. I also hope they do an impro uh, Imperator CK do explore. I think that'll happen down the line. Because uh, what I see happening is the... Because um, in CK2, they push the time, the start time back from, what, the 900s to the 700s. Um, and I see this because this one has a lot of wiggle room forward. So this one easily can go from, you know, like, uh, from high to late Republican uh, Rome to early mid and late imperial rome with no issues and that would bring you right up to the end of ck2 well those trade routes would be good when you become a regional power uh and when you take the horn of africa exactly texas and they're not they're not useful for me right now but they will be what do we got here oh our trade agreement with uh katama has yielded a splendid return on investment uh along with the flow of wealth between our two this this guy movement of people is accelerating our city of th oh this one right here Plus, with a wave of fresh, fresh migrants, strike the earth, we get two citizens, or they hate us, and we get slaves. Just enslave them all. Yep. And we're building another fortress. Hang on. Hang on my nose. I got to sneeze. Oh, it's creeping up on me! Ah! Well, that was like a painful, sneaky sneeze. Oh my god. Holy hell, my eyes are watering. <laughs> what the fuck? So, uh, a bunch of people migrated from here to here, and I enslaved them, and I'm making them build a wall. That's not topical at all. I love that this area exploded.
And you know what's great? Is they still don't... They, they didn't get mad enough to cancel the trade route. Our manpower is still okay, so we can do this. What's the goal? Uh, not die. And I want... Right now, what I'm trying to do is grab these three small cities as, um... Growth points. Growth points. Points to grow. I'm out of tissues! Oh, God. Hang on. I'm gonna go see if I got another box of these because my allergies are creeping up on me again. Hang on. We'll be right back. We are completely out of tissues. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. I have to use a roll of toilet paper like a freaking hobo. Like a communist. I blow my nose with sh nose with Charmin like a communist. Oh, and for some reason, I, I lagged out there. Oh, my God. Okay, so I, I don't know if I can actually take these cities, but I think I can. As soon as I finish this siege, we'll be able to see if it's viable. Because if it is... Uh, what is their population? Nine? And six. Not bad, really. I thought they'd be lower. Oh my god. This is kind of lagging out a little. I don't know. I don't know why. I wish I could uh, I, I could get a trireme, because that would give me at least another uh, point on the siege. Oh, I attrition down. I attrition down too far. Will it, will it tick back up? On the month? Nope. How long do you plan on streaming? Do you plan on playing these guys the entire time or switching it up? Uh, my stream is going to last until noon my time. That's a little over another hour. And I am going to be continue this. God damn it. God fucking damn it. According to those numbers, I should have finished it, but it doesn't take modifiers into account! Uh. You! Stay here! You! Walk away! I have the manpower, it's just they're not, they don't reinforce while they're there. And hopefully they don't show up with those 15,000 troops again and just wipe that guy out. I need to go, I need to walk back over this side. This is gonna, because I, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this siege because, oh god damn it. And the movement across the desert is so painful. It's gonna be like nobody left over there by the time we get back. Okay, we need to let these guys get back up to their normal like strength. It's gonna take a couple months. It should be eleven thousand. All right, uh, one more month. God damn it, no! I don't have time for art right now. I'm busy. All right, that's close enough. All right, get back over here. And hopefully we can finish the siege before the attrition down below 10,000 again. Omen. What, what can we omen? Uh, taxes, research points, unrest, commerce, manpower, aggressive expansion. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to just keep the ISIS is, is, is going. Taxes. I think I might hang on to this. There's nothing in here i really loving right now. Omen duration. Yeah, let's take omen duration. That's efficient. That's, that's efficiency right there. Emporian is a badass province name. Where is that one? Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Damn, damn them and their freaking castle. It's not just a level one. It's a level two. And now we're progressing again. Come on. Just one more tick. Come on. No. 
I fucking hate that this is not an accurate number! Okay. <laughs> it's over. Uh... Now, can I take this province? Uh, I can. Should we just, uh... Should we walk over there? Yeah, level level 2 fort in the desert is a son of a bitch. Here, let's give these guys a month. I'm coming for you, bitch! I'm coming! Watch my freaking ruler die. In the middle of this, start a succession crisis. No. Uh -oh. The movement through these provinces are just awful, too. Too many men have died up to give up now. Is that oh, no! Nope, just enough. Oh, shit. Just enough men have died. Just enough men have died. There we go. Yep, nope, not doing that. Nope, nope, nope. All right, murder my enemies. And go to go back. Turn turn around. <laughs> Overconfidence is a slow and insidious skin killer. Ah, oh, damn it! God damn it, game! Eat a dick! Eat a goddamn motherfucking dick! How we do it on those elephants, buddy? Getting closer. Getting closer. Okay. Those are both forts fortresses too. That's actually good for me. Oh, I like how the the, the other the ar army from this guy just like melted into the desert somewhere. All right, I'll I'll come for you later, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Hey, I want to see what technologies we unlocked here. Army maintenance costs, supply limit, pirate spawn sheds. Oh, okay, those are both really good. No! No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I took two of the three, I'm happy with that. I took two of the three, we can make it work. And uh, I think maybe you should at least be, you know, like somewhere near the main area. These should all be the right Yeah, look, they're all the, they're all the right cultures and whatnot. Everybody's happy. Everybody here is perfectly happy to have been conquered. Everything's fine. Are you getting elephants what you want though? It's I just need I just want a trade route. I just want to trade or I just want a trade route for cash. Just for the economic reasons. Oh god, but I, uh, how much am I paying on forts now? Four ducats. Oh. Yeah. One there. One there. And two there. All right. We'll put the army maintenance down. Oh, we're still not. Oh. All right. We'll just crank that. Let's crank that up a little bit. I don't want to attrition it out anymore. Ever do a custom nation thing? I imagine they'll do that eventually. Destroy the two forts, forts of the east. I'm thinking about taking out one of them. Let's see, what do we got here? We've got a population. Uh, eight. Seven. Seven. I had ten here before and I moved one person over. No, 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 no. It was this one. A 10 there, moved one person over. It's fine. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one because it's closer to the... Uh, you know what? We're going to... Yeah, we're going to get rid of this one. I'm going to at least get rid of that one. Uh, what does that do for me? It puts me in the positive. There we go. Hockey bird, thanks for the resub. 10 months of Magnu goodness. 
Woo. Oh, man. Okay, that at least puts us in the positive. I can, I can deal with that. Hey, maybe I can build a marketplace somewhere to help me out. Because a marketplace is, uh, let's see, what does that actually do? Local tax and commerce. So, like, there would be a great spot for it. Here. Would, yeah, because it's tax. I have to have some slaves there. Let's stack those modifiers. Hmm. I think I'll do this one. Marketplace there. Boom. Well, I'm happy the way that worked out. We got two new provinces. Two new provinces? Cities. We have a new pro we have a new province, though. Because we got this one right here, who's uh, currently on a, a governor policy of baby fingers. Um, they're pretty happy right now, so I don't think I need them on... I don't think I... I think I could change that. Oh, there's a little unrest. Impatience is a virtue. Ankh, who's the asshole I don't like, becoming increasingly restless of late. He believes that uh, his uh, stature is deserving a key role in our government. He is very displeased if you do not grant him an office soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and smear that reputation again so nobody likes you. God, people need to learn to love me! We usually watch Starship Trooper 2's. What the fuck was that movie? Oh, um, yeah. The key to Starship Troopers is you watch the first one, and then you forget everything else exists. That's that's how you that's how you do that. I think we want um army maintenance cost right now. Oh good, and this one cycled back, because these randomize. This one's still in there. Good. Supply limit. The supply limit hasn't really necessarily been the issue for me. It's just God, everything's a desert province! Everything's a goddamn desert province. Eat a sandy dick desert. All right, how's that economy? Point seven two, not bad, not bad. Okay, all right, it's fine, it's fine. Did you ever read the book? Yeah, the book fucking sucks. The book is the Starship Troopers book is terrible. Yeah, yeah, he's even more displeased. Yes, you become a traitor to the state. Play into my hands. Soul Bell, I, I, I had so much trouble reading that book. It was so dull. It was so boring. It was so weird. Oh, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I might let, I might let this tick up a little bit before I change the government policy. Starship Troopers we're talking about. You liked the book? Oh, man. Wow. It's so stupid. Yeah, look at that number of pops. That's about double what we started with. Nice. And look at this. Comedic is 92% now. This guy's converted 48 pops. Yeah, this is shit, this shit and Magoo. He has been quietly whispering in the ear of some of our closest confidants, has been wooed by the venomous words, and now both of these traitors' curse are spreading rumors of our lack of integrity. Please tell me that gives me a reason to do something. Oh, he's like way is he older than me? No, he's 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 two years younger than me. I can't get I just can't get rid of him. You let's get that loyalty up. No, nothing nothing else to do here. Plot, I dare you. Plot. All right, 
So now we can get this one to expand there, this one to expand there. We have three cities in this area now, so that's good. That means they can work together. Producing gemstones, salt. Nice. I like that. I know that these guys are plotting against me. I just want to murder them now. Fucking nuclear grenades. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it just seems so... Like, the, 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 the Starship Troopers book just seems so silly. Like, it's this, this, this future fascist, like, military junta of a society. And it just seemed... Everything came off so silly in it. Yes, convert to everybody. There's almost there's almost no one left to convert. Anime with the weird 3D uh, and the aliens. Yes, I, I I watched that as a child. I actually like that. I liked that one. The weird 3D animation from like the early late 90s, early 2000s, something like that. I remember that one. Let's see. Uh, I don't think the other yeah, one's homogenous society. We could do some promotions, though. Because we got tribesmen over here. We don't need those. One of uh, promote a slave. Bleh. Let's see. Uh, four freemen, two citizens. Let's see. Yeah, let, let, let's. We got a lot of freemen in the, the, the realm, so we could definitely switch that around. Get more citizens. So that's like one Freeman there. Yeah, there's a lot of citizens there. We've already done it a lot over here. So we'll maybe maybe one more here. That'll help my commerce income just a little bit. And more research points too. I wonder how my civilization level is doing. 49. Not, well, it's not going to be 49 over here because the city keeps getting burned down. But it's fine. It's fine. Moving to Winter Park. Oh, okay, that's not too far away. Thanks for making packing fun. I do what I can. Winter Park. It's just to the north of here, I think. I don't know the area that well, because I don't care. These people are all pretty happy. No unrest. So, yeah, I think I think we changed that governor policy. Uh, probably just acquisition of wealth. We don't need trade here, because nobody wants to trade with us anyway. Local fort defense 20%. Bleed them dry. I don't think we need to go that far. Yeah, acquisition of wealth. Swap it up. You know what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead. Well, there's actually more pops to convert than I thought. So we'll do those ones because they're in a different state. We'll let those ones just go by themselves. B-Day bottle of scotch. Oh my god, I need scotch. I'm almost out. I almost got a scotch. Oh. Mortory advances hand. Tech, 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 tech. What do we got here? Monthly tyranny, assassinate cost. Yeah, I wish you would let me assassinate people, because I want to kill them. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Army really wants to take fighting season for the supply limit change. Religious tech investment. Omen power, that's a good one. Yeah, omen power is a good one and fighting season is a good one. Oh god, more statues. Why does everybody keep making statues of me? I'm a terrible leader. What is the cost of converting pops? Religiously converting them cost uh, religious power. It's 20 base. And um, cult changing their culture is oratory power. All right, we're going to take uh, fighting season. Get that supply limit up. It's not that the su supply limit isn't been killing us. It's just that walking through a desert is a problem. Walking through a desert kills us. Still? 49 of 51 opinion. Is it still ticking up? I, I swear to God, I'm a good man. I'm not. Uh, that's the wrong one. It's going down. Let's keep improving that. 
So, yeah, I, I think it, it may only tick up to 50. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. I do not know. Why walk when you can boat? I can't boat because I don't have any wood. I'm woodless. Does your country pre pre predominantly worship the Egyptian gods? Yes. Hang on. Religious map mode. Comedic. We actually had to purge the Arabic uh, religion out of our realm. They're almost gone. We are at 95.58% comedic. So there's only a few pops left of Arabic. We got rid of the tribals too. I could de I got a lot of citizens. We could use more slaves. Oh. We could definitely use more slaves. All right. So let's see. Emporium. Oh, I could do that right now. Mail. Oh, that's all oh, all the way over here. Yeah. I forgot that that was part of the, uh, wait, no. Oh, it's adjacent, that's why. Adjacent because the sea tile. No Jewish, well the Jews are up here. And then I didn't have any in my land, so there's nothing I could do about that. Am I, is this guy dead? Is he near, oh, he's almost dead for the love of God, thank Christ. Well, that omen power, my omen power was like 20% when we started. It's so much stronger now. Blessing of Isis, keep growing. Yes! Someone wants to trade with me! You! Yeah! Okay, everybody... Uh, yeah, yeah. Trade routes galore. <laughs> ah, here we are, here we are. Yes! Trade with me! This guy likes me now for some reason. Oh, yes. Egypt has to import wood to even build ships. Do they not start with any? Let's see. Uh, trade good map mode. Hang on. Hey, you're going to love this. I have to tell you this because it's funny. So they fixed your card. Your card works now. Did they break yours? They turned mine off. Our apartment complex is an idiot. Because <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I used it before I gave you your card back. Checked it? No. Nope. So who are you going to make cry today? Hi guys, it's Spiri. I pronounced that right, right? Spiri, yeah. Spiri, yeah. Otari. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. I was like, seriously. So Egypt does have some wood down here, but they may have stolen it since the start of the game. It's right there. Yeah, Who knew that there were a lot of forests in Europe, guys? Um, I took her out just now because supposed to be the apocalypse later apparently we have the apocalypse coming yes i love the apocalypse yeah so i took her out hey guys so i took her out before the apocalypse gets here so, so she could poop in peace and she didn't need to poop she peed and she went right back upstairs, little petty right? little petty needs to did, take a poop she did almost a two bagger when i took her out this morning so two bags of poop hi guys Use cacti instead of wood. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. Did we get slammed last night? No. no. I don't think so. No, it's fine last night. We're supposed to get it today. What ass? You live here. What <laughs> the hell? I don't think I care about any of the, either of these people. He's my researcher. He's the court philosopher. So whoever's got the best zeal. So... Charius. Yeah, there we go. And I'll just replace the uh, the researcher. There we go. That's fine. All is well. My country is growing larger. It's delightful. Delightful. Yeah, there's a little bit of wood right over here, next to Elephant Town. Ooh, can I? I must say, yeah, it's it's too far away from Elephant Town to uh, get there. I need, okay, well, yeah, we are grabbing all of the cities. CK2 all day, every day. Thanks for the follow. Sounds like Rose. Yeah, I know, right? Yes! 
Trade influx. Oh! <laughs> I'm stealing all your citizens and making them slaves again, bitch! <laughs> it scares me that you have such a thing for slaves, you know? Slaves are great in this game! It's Apparently. Not a, it's not a racial thing. Apparently, it's a class uh, thing. I know. Apparently, Atlanta got hit really bad. Um, South Florida got hit, and we're supposed to get hit this afternoon. Whatever. Good. Open the windows and enjoy the, the breeze while, while we still can. Did I not get more slaves? I thought it was... I thought I had nine before. Did that not go up? It's supposed to be in the 50s, too. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're supposed to get that huge cold front come in and then freeze for a while. 74 is the hybrid tomorrow. Delightful. Delightful. Slaves are great, Ben, 2019. Benjamin like Magnus for quote, for president. I like the quote um, that I put in there this morning. About Bing's pooping? No, I'm just sitting there drinking my coffee. Can you poop like a normal person, Banks? Well, stupid fat K kicks the litter out of the litter box. Penny almost got a box of crunchy this morning. Yeah, I'm sure she would love that. Import incense, yes! Oh, my economy. My economy feels so good! Oh. Uh, you only had five slaves and you got four for the- Okay, so, okay. So that, that was correct. I, w I just wasn't paying attention to the numbers. <laughs> I understand it. I like how we're just stacking, like, slaves. They, they are perfectly happy to be slaves here, too. They're, the, uh, think of it this way. They're happier in my land as slaves than they were over there. And, oh! <laughs> I was like, did the game just cry? Okay, so I just died. Okay, new king, idiot Magoo. All right, succession crisis. The recent instability caused by the death of Huzitz has created a power vacuum with certain scheming pretenders that are all too eager to fill... Uh, emboldened by, uh, Erevis, they have raised hordes of malcontents and plot against the throne itself. Has spent his wealth raising... Wait, that's me. Ankh... Oh, wait, is that old man? Uh, is that old man Ankh? So two people raised up armies. Civil War's coming! Alright, which one is... It? Wait, 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 wait. You know what? Neither one of them! Because this is the one I wanted. Chariots? Where the fuck did you get those? Where the fuck did he get chariots from? Oh no, guys. What do we do now? What do we do now? Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! Can I just... I don't know how to... I don't know what to do. This guy's 71 and slowly dying. Doom! God, he's fucking rich. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. Oh, oh God. I caused this problem, but I don't know how to fix it. Okay. Let them fight. Cease the means of production. Oh, fuck. Where did this guy get chariots from? Seriously, you son of a bitch. I really... This character sucks! Should I just let the Civil War start?
That's the th that's what I wonder. I was like, can I just let the Civil War start and let them win so I can play as a different character who doesn't suck? Or is that going to end the game? I don't know which. This guy's not going to die soon enough, but he is going to die. And this one's a young man. So he can encourage deserters. So that knocks him down to uh, nine. All right, so what does that knock it down to? 66% of the, uh, the the army is commanded by disloyal generals. Okay. And loyalty, smear reputation. I can bribe him. Hmm. Let's see. CK2 and they're in the dining suit should be fine. Yeah, I know, but this isn't CK2, and I'm not sure how much of that carries over. Because I think they're both... They're both of the same dynasty. They're both of the same... I don't know how this works. Oh, boy. Fertility down. God, that's with a bonus to his military, too. You suck, dude. It's fine. The loyalty is, is close. I could... Br well, let's see. Loyalty gen minus 0. 9.4. Loyal cohorts. This one. I can get this one back on my side. Oh, wow. Even worse. I can bribe him. That gets him back on my side and gives me some free chariots. And then we can just let the Civil War hit. And see what happens. Time to find out! <laughs> yeah, let's let's find out. Should we just let it happen and see what see how this goes? Here, you're gonna be on skirmishing. Hey, where the fuck you going, dude? You going to the capital? Where the, where the hell do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, friendo? Oh, wait. Uh, military. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, 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 uh. Forgot about that. Oh, his his morale's down to wait, no, that's no, that's his. His morale's crap too. Oh no. The great storms rocks the coast of Dhaka. Devastation caused was severe. The city council is requested to send for urgent aid. Damn it! S okay, send helping hands. That's what I I can't afford the cash right now. <laughs> Trust me, the guy who's never played the game. I haven't I haven't played through a civil war uh yet. Can I merge these together? I can. <laughs> uh Put it on Deception. Prior Horrors is the light. I guess we'll put the chariots in the center. This is desert, that's why. I was like, why am I taking attrition here? Because desert. I'm just going to let the Civil War happen. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let it happen and see how things go. Anybody want to trade with me? Just fur? 
Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Just for the trade route and the cash. So the Civil War is going to break out with these units standing on top of each other. I've got 20,000 men, or just over 20,000. He's got 15,000. Eight military, six military. Also, he's an old bastard who's slowly dying from gout. Budding friendships. Sure, we could be friends. Let's just, we're just going to let it happen. Since you don't have any other type of cavalry, doesn't that mean the chariots are camel chariots? I assume so. Let's do this! Let's just double check our tactics here. Deceptive. This is extra versus... And less damage versus envelopment hit and run. We should be fine. There it is! Oh, it's just this little blip, blip, uh, bloop in the middle right here is gonna blip over. My personal physician abandoned me. That's not very nice. Yeah, he's a bitch. So, a bubble just scared me. A bubble? Yeah, I was preparing Penny's little bowl, you know, to wash her belly. And I put some soap in it, and a bubble started floating up, and I thought it was a spider. <laughs> Got scared by a bubble. <laughs> oh my god, I am ripping him to shreds. I am, my, my camels are ripping into him like a monkey on a cupcake. Yeah, look at that. Where are you running, bitch? All right, there we go. Gains weak willed. Oh God, am I getting worse? Fort defense, oh, Fort defense minus 10%. <laughs> V-Bird says it's a demon bubble and you should be scared. Oh my God. Okay, let's arrange this guy a marriage. 60, 60, how old are you? 37. Oh God, so, okay. The character I, I wanted is the is the heir right now. There's nothing I could do. The only thing I could do is die. Fuck it, I'm not gonna marry. Can I get through your fort? Yes, chase him down. I don't know how far he's going because, okay, so he, his, the revolt is all of this, all the new stuff. This is mine. So he's probably gonna go pretty far. Is this his capital, technically? It's the capital of Punt. Uh, here, let's, can't create a new unit. Uh, okay, that's fine. Oh, you know what? The revolt got the fort. Fuck me. I have to sit on these desert forts again! Can't abdicate? No. No. If you don't marry, you don't have a chance to roll an even sheet or your king. Exactly! That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so that's gonna flip to me on its own. So... Oh, uh, so that's the capital. Okay, so it's not. This is the capital of the world, so it's not going to be too hard to flip. I like the armies were all just sitting there, wait, you know, waiting, just sitting on top of each other, waiting for something to happen. I should definitely split these up. Put the army in, uh, uh, on, on a boat and get the boat sunk. A, I don't have boats, and, and B, that won't get him killed. He'll just float back. Oh, I could just as fucking assault this. Yeah, 
There we go. Better. It's like EU4. He'll just float back. That should they probably take your attrition too, so it'll probably hurt. Uh, well, we'll have to go. Uh, I have to siege down my own fort. All right, so let's. Uh, uh, create a new unit. You know what we're gonna do? All the light infantry. Oh, it doesn't. It's not gonna let me do that, because they're loyal. Well, that's a level one fort, so they should be actually good to go do that. And then I could just... All these guys can just run over nice and zippy-like if I need them to. Won't kill them lame. No, it's it's more like EU4 where if uh, uh, if if an, an army gets stack wiped, the leader just kind of goes back. There's a chance of them getting captured, but I don't think that would help my situation either. Whole nation is coastal. You don't know what a boat is. Very true. Oh, and I'm gonna have to. Oh, he's coming right back, isn't he? I did. I didn't. I didn't see that coming. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Murder, murder, murder! All oh, over the casualties. It's like two to one. Am I dying? Nope. Nope, doesn't affect my health, just makes me dumber. Can you imprison your ruler and flog him? Sadly, no. This guy just got worse. My god. Yeah, look at that. 3,000 to 7,600. Oh, and he's going the other way, too. Chase him down! He's probably gonna stop here. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Latest masterpiece collapsed, killing the civic officials. Oh, God. Master of the Guard, either 50% chance to lose loyalty, 25% chance to get wounded, 25% chance to die. Have him flogged. And I flogged him to death. Well, we wanted to flog somebody. New new master of the guard. Oh well. Maybe get rid of the court physician, huh? I haven't thought about that. Uh, that's in here. Maybe I just maybe I just hire someone bad. Can I fight? Can I just fire him? I have to imprison him. Here, you know what we're just gonna do? We're just gonna, we're just, oh, maybe that'll be better. Maybe, maybe putting someone like a terrible doctor in charge. Okay, zero. It's, it's not changing at all. It's not going up, but it's not changing at all. Why? What? What the fuck? Why? What the fuck? Why in the name of God can I not move him over here? He walked, he walked left to right. Why can't he walk right to left? Is this game good or just like a CK2 Rome reskin? It does not feel like a CK2 Rome reskin at all. It is a, it is a good game. I don't get the reskin feel at all. Oh, more import routes. I can't say no to more import routes. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I got fort bamboozled. This fort is blocking movement back is what's happening. Yup, that's what it was. Well, for starters, let's go over here and get this back. 
The old switcheroo. Yeah, I got old switcherooed. Do you want to give me those elephants yet? No! Hey, I want to check something. I don't think it goes over plus 50 for the improved relations. Unless you get modifiers. Okay, I just got my, gave myself a really terrible doctor and that helped. So if I wipe his army out, will it, uh... Will that be good? What, what is gonna happen here? Am I gonna continue the embargo st uh, stream from yesterday? No. That was, that was a one-off. Well, it was a 12-hour one-off, so... Just murder this son of a bitch already. Can't believe I got bamboozled. Stack wipe him, please. See, if we capture him, then we're then all is well. There we go. Hey, I got an achievement. Survive a civil war. Let's see. Treason demands punishment. Let the soldiers live. I'm out of manpower. Do it. All right. Yep, uh, let's see. Survive a civil war. Huzzah! So, at least I can, I, I, I can do this. Who is this? That's me. Oh, I can import it from myself. Which will earn me way more money. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of the fucking desert, you bastards. Get out of the goddamn desert! All right, this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. That army maintenance down. Keep the fort maintenance at middle. Uh, yes, get sick, you bastard. Arthritis. How is this guy? It's not going to affect his health, I don't think. Oh, god damn it. How is it possible to have a character this terrible? Who won't die? Uh, camels really that good in war. Camels are very good, yeah. They're also not that easy to get. Here, let's see. Camels. So, like... You only get them if you're kind of over on this side of the planet. The character keeps getting sicker, but not with sicknesses that make him die! Uh, wait, that's the good one. He's my heir. What? Oh, God. That's just the minus two charisma. What the fuck? What is this? What is Men Mentagara? I'm Googling this shit. What the fuck is Mentagara? Mentagara? Is that it? Mentag... Mentagar... Mentagra? The skin disease most commonly starting in the chin and moving to the entire face and other. It's a skin disease that covers your face. It's primarily it's primarily uh, uh, transmitted by kissing. So, how did these two brothers get it? Oh, my poor country. Converted one pop in total, but we don't need to do that anymore. Acquisition of wealth. We'll do the same thing over here. Just put it on acquisition of wealth on everybody. Start making some money. Oh my god. Uh, this is the worst character I've ever had. No, stop patronizing the arts. It always turns out badly.
I cha I titled this this stream uh, "Blessing the Rains Down in Africa," but I don't think we're being blessed. I think we're being punished by the gods. Oh my god! And his health won't go down. Oh god! This is terrible. I guess I just get to keep the free chariots now. My heir is almost dead. Is he really? Is that him? No. No, that's that, that's not him. Oh my god. He's got an infection. And dysentery. Well, so much for this character. Oh, this is the one I wanted in charge, and he's almost dead! Why couldn't I have gotten dysentery? Oh. Keep them, but they don't replenish. Uh. Oh, they don't re Yeah, they don't replenish because I don't have access to them. Knock it down to two and then a fraction. There you go. How much, I wonder how much those cost. Does it tell me in here? Uh, I think I think I'd have to go here. That's the build cost. And there he goes. I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds! Well, this one's okay too. They don't have very good they don't have very good traits. You know what? We're just gonna do it. We're gonna arrange a marriage, and we're gonna we're gonna. I mean, mm. marry a woman. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, where, where's age on here? Can I sort by age? I need a fertile woman. Why is everybody so old? Seriously. They're all so, like, the, the youngest woman's, what, 38? Wait, I think I saw a 20-year-old. You. We're stuck with this guy now. We're stuck over, you missed the last 15 minutes. Um, ended the Civil War. But I'm stuck with the just the worst fucking character. He just got two terrible traits. He got arthritis, so he's got minus two charisma, minus one martial, minus one finesse. Minus 10% fort defense. Minus uh, 0.2 fertility. Oh my god. You're awful. I hate you so much. I hate him so much. My PowerPoint gate is so tidy. I've got a lot of oratory just because I haven't had much to do with it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate this guy so much. Alright, alright, alright. We'll just focus back on the other thing. Getting to the elephants into the wood. All right, next province is Elephantitis time. Next province over gives us elephants. Elephas Lieben. I think, yeah, this is all, this is just two provinces, so that's good. Ruling class in my dynasty sucks. They're all terrible people, and I hate them. Oh, there's one person to convert. I think we'll do that manually. Let's see, where is he? Who is he? 
There's one slave over here. Bip. Oh my, for the, for the love of God. Why does that event spawn so much? It's happened like 15 times. How do you watch ads for bits? Uh, in the chat box, it's the little, uh, it's a little picture of the arrows pointing up and down. And there's instructions in there. Oh my god. How many slaves? I got nine slaves here now. I think I need 15 for another trade good. Yes! More salt! I need more salt! It'll make me feel better. I'm getting saltier. Well, at least the trade routes are filled out now. That's something. Oh, no, the world isn't falling apart. The country's actually doing well, all things given, but... The problem is, is my freaking leaders are so goddamn dumb. I'm gonna keep the, the worst doctor in the world, though, so I don't get any more health points. Alright, just keep that pop growth... Keep that pop growth uh, omen going. I started with, like, 60 pops, so we're up to 142. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, man. We're gonna have nothing but elephants and camels in our military. Elephants, camels, and light infantry. Oh, sorry. Ugh. At least the economy's on track, though. We're making a little bit of money. We, I'm gonna keep the forts up because those damn barbarians that show up every once in a while. Hey, Mean Wolf. Oh, didn't see... Uh, one stream is Rome. No, uh, I haven't streamed it yet. It's on my YouTube channel. I'm doing a multiplayer series with Roach, Zate, Midge, and Muss. On YouTube. I actually prefer to start as smaller countries. This is why you never start inbreeding so early. Hey, -ho! hey, no inbreeding. We decided not to go down the inbreeding, uh, inbreeding track. This is all normal breeding. Oh, speaking of, barbarians have risen up over here somewhere. Where's the, goddamn barbarians. That military maintenance up again. Where are they? Where are they? Hang on, where's my where's my government? We did not go family marriage. We did not do the inbreeding. And thank you very much. My last Hellenic run, uh, inbred for generation hundreds of years. Only had a little bit of problem with uh, with those family traits. Shooting star stab event? I have not seen that yet. I have not seen it. Anybody quote inbreeding could be fun? Well, let's check Discord. See if anybody put it in there. Uh, nope, nope. It hasn't been quoted yet. It hasn't been quoted yet. No, oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I meant to do that one. Alright, any of these gonna help me out? Siege Engineers... Star experience, general loyalty, wages for characters, that saves money. Slave output, that's a good one. Pop growth! Pop growth! We're doing that one. What's special about this nation? Uh, there wasn't anything particularly special about it. I just liked the starting area. Uh, and I'm, I'm shocked I didn't die. It was kind of away from most of the majors. Hey, why don't we take a, a look at the rest of the world? Seleucids are doing well. Frisia exploded. Egypt is fine. Semnonia is uh, go go uh, gobbling a little. Rome? Not as good as I thought. Syracuse got kicked out of Syracuse. Macedon's fine. Thrace is fine. Getty is fine. Everything else is pretty pretty stable. Looks like Kush is having some issues. 
<clears throat> and all I need to do is get some more pops going. And we get our elephants. Each sur Okay, so uh, first one allows war elephants. Surplus is manpower. Surplus in capital is war elephant discipline. When, ex oh, when exporting war elephant discipline, 5%. Each 15. So what we're going to want to do is get lots and lots of slaves in elephantitis land. That's what we're going to want to do. Is this a... Oh, no, it's just this guy over here. I forgot about... I forgot you exist. Let's see. You've got three cahoots. What other trade goods are over here? Salt! Livestock. Ooh, gemstones up over here. It's part of this state. Not that I can get over there because we don't know what wood is, so we can't build boats. Put a granary down there. Stacked a lot of modifiers, so these are uh, cheaper. 60 ducats instead. Oh, there they are! Not this time! Not this time, barbarians! What do we say to the god of death? Not today, you fox! <laughs> yes! Leave that a line. Bring me their scalps and or ears. Alright, what do we got? Alright, so we got trireme discipline and trireme cost. Uh, I kind of want to go down the left side, so... Get, get those camel things, so I guess we'll go Merchant Coast. Or right, hang on, let's check our tech. Uh, I'm actually going to wait. Because when we level up, um, we are... 66% of the way through to the next Marshall advance when we tech up the cost of the tradition goes down So we're gonna wait on that Can you migrate overseas zones? Yes Um, so like as long as they're touching obviously So like over here I was able to migrate uh, guys from over here over this way uh, sycophants. Well, I do love sycophants. Researcher. Man, everybody's got a lot of personal wealth. General of the Second Army. I want the gen- I, the, the General of the Second Army is the one I care more about. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so as, as long as I, I can afford this right now, but it's not gonna- None of them- It's not gonna do anything great for me right now, so. I don't need to. Let's see. Oh, did did they come back? Ha ha! Two pops were captured that have been distributed as sl slaves. One went to Daka and the other is dead. Oh man. Wait, did I just actually get a kid? Yeah. I just got a fucking kid. He's growing up. I, I love the idea the, the the way this is this is phrased what the the, the slaves were distributed 50% one to Daka and the other 50% went to the graves <laughs> Oh man, so we got an extra slave over here Let's see. Yeah, I'm about to say it's uh, it's the it's the wrong stuff though So we're just gonna go ahead and convert and assimilate and now he's happy You captured two. Yeah, uh, it was basically like me capturing some of the barbarians is the gist of that? Oh, this is on shock action? No, 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 no. Uh, I want deception. So there is there is a benefit to knocking them down. Uh, let's see. What do you say about the sound of the game? Um, music is really good. The sound effects are few and far between. Uh, so you know you you get used to audio cues in like EU four war deck noises. Um, you know, provinces converted, uh, noises, the core noises. This game basically doesn't have any of that. There's, like, one notification noise. It's just, like, dong. Kind of like that. So I really feel like they need to add more of those in. Um, but that's a small thing. I mean, all, it's just a matter of recording the noise and then just attaching it in there. So that's easy. 
Kid is already better than me. I know. Review embargo? I don't actually know when the review embargo is is exactly up. That's why I'm holding off on any, like, direct criticisms. Whatever, whenever there's anything I, I'm talking about, it's normally like, I think this would be a good addition. Yeah, the noise when the Ottomans declare war are you. ka -chong! That noise. The one that scares the crap out of everybody. Yeah, so when this goes, when, when this uh, tech's up again, um, the price of this will go down by 25%, saving me my precious, precious military ducats. Because I haven't had more than plus four this entire time, I don't think. Oh, we got some tribesmen over there now, too. Wait, wait. I just went to 100%. Who, who need, don't make me convert you. A tribesman over here? Eh? Oh, I can't do it while an event demands attention. Okay. Uh, bitchy priest. I'm not giving you money. There we go. We're homogenous up in here, guys. Homogenous. Don't make me kill you. Civic advances, huzzah. Or we actually could turn a profit with the uh, the army maintenance up. That's nice. And the fort maintenance is already up too and the wages are on normal. Commerce is uh, through the roof. So we're, we're trying to get extra commerce and taxes are on normal because I don't want to take the research point hit. But I mean, that's with a larger military than we had before because we went from 12, 000, for 12,000 to 20,000. Well, 19.4. And, uh, how the hell do you access chariots? Is it gonna tell me? Uh, you don't have the right military tradition. Okay, so, there's no way for me to get them. It's not a trade good, it's a military tradition. Uh, so I guess they'll just sit in my military until they attrition out, and then I'll disband them. Kill a pop instead of converting them, cause tribe and something like that. Uh, nothing but trouble so far, I'd kill them. Um, I don't think, you can't just kill them, no. You can't just murderize them. Uh, and d tribesmen are good if you are a tribal nation. But if you're a civilized nation, if you're a settled civilized nation, um, then no, they're bad. Generally. Alright, what do we got here? Our trusted advisor has been siphoning funds from our treasury into his own pocket for some time now. A real punishment will deter him. Uh, we get... Oh, yeah. I get tyranny from this, though? Fuck it. Taking that cash. It's more cash than I've had in the bank this whole time. Oh, look at that little baby. Would you Baby. Oh, he's growing up. He's growing up so big and so strong. Ooh. Could flog him. Hmm. Nah. We'll just leave it for now. Oh, shit. I didn't pick the highest. I, I accidentally clicked on, uh, on that wrong. Okay. Where do our Ardabil is? Ardabil would have been, like, up in here somewhere. Would have been in this region. Somewhere in here. Alrighty. Let's go back. Back to our doodle. I am happy with the way things have been going so far. 146 pops and growing. 14 cities and growing. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, part, wait, you know what? Um, at least 10. And this is the only, oh, so this is the only one that I think it is in, counts as adjacent because C tile. So we would have to move pops over here. Huh. That's unfortunate. I don't want to pay for that. How many do we have here? One, five. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, here, let's go ahead and actually do that.
Happy people. Move on over. There we go. We have elephants. This kid is going to be better than me really fast. I'm 2223. It's 1100 at one years old. Marty jealous of that child. And this one will give me wood. This uh, leather give you cohort recruit speed, surplus of capital, light infantry defense. Okay. Excellent. Now the profits with elephants. We want we want we now we what we need to do is stack up slaves here so that we can get a surplus of elephants. Just camels and elephants as far as the my the, the eye can see. Camels and elephants. Camel offense, yes, that's gonna be a good one. Camel desert combat bonus, heavy cav combat bonus, light cav combat bonus. Oh, that's pretty sweet because that's for the deserts. Cannot wait to play this soon. Kill the little guy. No, I like the little guy. He's all. He, it's not gonna take too long for him to be better than me. Uh, this little bastard. Let's see. Weeks of nervous looks and smirks at court. The whispers circling the palace have finally reached the, the ears of the king. Someone has been spreading rumors and spitting uh, yarns uh, of his unequaled profligacy and unfitness for the throne. Well, they're right. I guess we'll go find out who it was. Yeah, watch your son grow up. To be amazing and have your wife die and then the new wife assassinate your awesome son. Yeah. I'm not even getting sicker. I really... No, I don't want to seek treatment. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, seek treatment for arthritis. Gain seeking treatment. Can you, can you be treated poorly? Can they do a bad job? Is that something that could happen? Can they do a terrible job? Is this my capital? This is my capital. Uh, I definitely think I need a fort in my capital. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for th with that one. Slanderer spills all. Royal tutor. Reputation is ruined. Pardon him. Uh, he's learned his lesson. Gains the forgiving trait. Could be one over. Um, what's the forgiving trait give me? Can I even see that on here? Uh, I have too many negative health modifiers to see anything. Hmm. Oh, that tech coming. Oh, it's almost finished. We're at 98.8. .8. One more month, I think it is. Yeah, there it is. All right, now we can pick this at a cheaper cost. Triremes! Yay! Now, is that recruitment cost? Upkeep? There's definitely a recruitment cost. Not that I could recruit any. Oh. Can you become a worse ruler without being killed in treatment? Probably. You know what? We're doing a lot of testing. Let's see what happens. 100 ducats for that, which is a lot of money. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's, let, let's, let's look. Let's look. Try to figure out what's happening. Oh boy. I have not had a lot of luck. Well, I, I, in, in all fairness, I've had a little luck. No, I have to I have to amend that. I got lucky in the beginning because I'm not dead. Alright, see so what do we want to do here? Import no, we don't need that. War score cost. Citizen output. Slaves needed for surplus is a good one. Court recruit speed. Hostile attrition again. Yes. Scorched earth tactics. Take that. Stacking. So now if someone was to if someone was to try to siege down one of my desert forts, it'd be three attrition. Three points of attrition. Patriotic citizens of Punte are ecstatic uh, at our benevolent rule. I'm probably just too dumb to be a tyrant is the thing. 
Uh, the province, I think, has 100%. Yeah, so I'll just take the cash. My guy's just... He's too dumb to be a tyrant. He's like Donald Trump Jr. He's too dumb to know what he's doing. Wait, is... Oh, seeking treatment's on there. Oh, seeking treatment just gives you extra health. Oh, I'm making it more healthy. Oh, my God. I look over... Yeah, I can take a look at Europe. Rome is surprisingly not doing that great. Uh, Zemnonia uh, broke up. They were pretty big before. Dumnonia has uh, got the south of England. Carthage is being Carthage. Egypt is being Egypt. Frisia is still exploded. Seleucids look like they may... They looks like they kind of filtered south a little bit. That's a little scary. I, w I went down here to avoid all majors, and uh, the Seleucids are kind of draining down towards me. What abilities do I have? I'll show you in a second. Getty is getting a little bit. Yeah, they are. They gained a little bit of land. They touched the black scene. Well, no, no, they don't. No, they do. Right there, right there. Did they, did they eat a little Thrace, or did Thrace eat a little bit of them? Wh which way did the border gore here go here? See, Sparta gobbled up a little bit. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Crete solidified and formed the Crete tag. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That is adorable. I hope they do well. Migratory tribe game. Oh, I will. I, I'll, I'll probably, I'll do one of those eventually. Oh, man. Uh, and there are only four building types. Marketplaces, training camps, fortresses, and granaries. So that's those are the only ones. Oh, shit. Um, it's past 12, and that's my stop time. I didn't even realize it. I did not. I was, I've been having so much fun. I did not even realize, I, uh, realize I've been streaming for four hours. But anywho, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to wrap up this stream here. We're, uh, we got shit rulers, but we're actually doing pretty good. Uh, which is a bit of a surprise to me. I don't have any real local threats. So I think what the plan is going to be to do is to grab the rest of the horn. This is not colonized anymore, is it? No, it is. It's just a very off col- Wait, is it? It's not colonized anymore. One, two, three, and there's eight pot. Wow, okay. So yeah, we're gonna grab all this and then probably move across into Arabia. Is this going to be recorded on YouTube as well? Oh yeah, this whole thing's going up on YouTube. Like this, the soon as I, I end this, I'm gonna download the file uh, and get it processed and I'll get it uploaded tonight or tomorrow. What do roads do? Roads, um, they cost military traditions to, uh, military points to, to build. And they decrease movement speed by like half from one one city to another. They're all, they're hard to build. They're just mechanically. They're a little annoying because you have to go, like build from here to here, 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 build from here to here. So like if you want a road that goes from here to your capital, you can't just go like this. Go to, from here to there. You can't do it in two clicks. You got to do each one individually. Um, which is a little annoying, but that's just a UI thing. That's just a mechanical thing that could get fixed. Um, but anywho, yeah, like I said, I'm going to wrap this up here. This will get uploaded to YouTube. I'm going to continue this series, uh, probably. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to be doing a no 1404 tomorrow and I'm doing my community event on Sunday. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to continue this on Monday, I think. I think I'll probably, because I really want to play more Imperator, I'm probably going to continue this on Monday, playing CK2 on Tuesday, EU4 on Wednesday, and then we're back to this uh, next Friday as well. Probably do it twice a week. That sounds good to me. But anywho, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate the support, and I will see you all next time. Bye.